the heck I said I'm going to talk about. But I was getting a lot of people hitting me up saying, yo, Sabir, could you go live? I need my, my dose. And I'm sitting here on a Sabbath trying to relax. And I said, what can I possibly talk about? What up, ill noble? And you are a noble brother because you are a hell of a father. That's all I'm going to say. My brother, L. Noble Moore, is a real father. Hands down. Hands down, man. So I give credit with credit at due at real fathers. Not these cats that never show their father, their children. They don't show their children. I don't care what in the hell you going at with their moms. So if I hope y'all share this out. Hurry up real fast. We don't want nobody to get in late who always want to talk. You can share this to Umar Johnson too. Oh, that was a stab if y'all didn't get it. That was a stab. Not, not dudes that's going to send somebody to beat their baby mama up. We don't do stuff like that. We don't do things like that. Okay? So if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, do y'all research on what I just said. Okay? Do your research on what I said. If you were man enough to lay down with her and have and produce the child, then do what you do. Are y'all following me? Am I am I am I making myself clear? Because real rap, I only have, um, me personally, I have three children. One of my sons got killed, but I have two sons. And I have a daughter. And I have children, uh, two more that is actually mine, but they're my daughter's sister and brother. So they're mine too. They're mine. So real men, okay? So I, she's, I actually has another daughter. And I have another son, but they're that's their mother's children, but they're my children. That makes sense. So I so I rock with the real brothers who are actually, you know, dealing with their children, rather you with the mom or not. Shout out to my brother Red Pill. Red Pill is another brother who actually is one, and his his son is named after my son Amir. His son is named after my son Amir. And I remember when his son Amir was born. So, but all of these conscious cats that don't show you their children, don't talk about their children on social media. <laughs> what up, Jaquetta? That don't show their children on social media, but try to give y'all all the advice in the world. Try to give y'all all the advice, but they'll never see you, never see them with their children. The first thing and the first key is to deal with your children first did that make sense before we could do that oh no doubt my brother red pill no doubt i love his daughter man his daughter's like my goddaughter or my niece my g no doubt that's how we get down so hope y'all share this out so me personally i have well i had and i still do because my son is still with me that's my son i married i got killed that's my other son right there so my daughter, I'm very protective of her right about this moment. Some of y'all probably saw a sneak peek of her when I, her solar return came up. Those are my two sons. This is my son that got killed, and that's my other son. That's what fathers do. Ooh, that's what fathers do. Y'all, you follow me? So tell them to do that. I don't give a damn what you going through with your children's mom, my G. Make that mother freaker work. And make it happen. You can never give advice if you run around here talking about and you don't have your children with you. First, you have to educate your children on all of this. Thank you, my, my peoples. Your house comes first. And if this is a stab at any of you cats that want to think it's a stab, yes, it's a stab. So come and holler at your brother, Sabir Bay. Share this out, y'all. Let's have some fun. Let's have fun and share it out. We just getting started. I told you, 
I had nothing even planned, but it's going to flow out my mouth like a mother freaker. Was with my daughter. No doubt. That's another brother that be with his children. No doubt. And I love my brother. He even don't no matter what you go through with their moms, G, they're your children. Get with your children because all of this psychology and psychologist stuff that you're talking about, it's affecting your children if you're not in their life, period. Did that make sense? Am I making sense? It affects your children, whether you know it or not. Are you following me? Peace. So share this out. I told y'all to the Umars, to the, to the Boyce Watkins right now, to the Roland Martins, to whoever need to hear this mother freaking. And shout out to all the real fathers. We don't need Father's Day to do any of that. Our fathers every day. I went through every, every with my baby mother. Don't matter, G. It is what it is. Part of life, man. There's no roadmap with that mother freaking. Do you know there's no manual? There's no manual book that you pick up to deal with that, but you got to deal with it, my G. I was a young father when I first had my child, 18 years old, my G. I was a young man. Uh, uh, young man when I went through that. All right, so let's get it popping. Y'all ready to rock and roll with your brother, Sabir Bay? Y'all sharing this out? Please share this out, Clubhouse. Share this out. Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. All right, hurry up, because I don't know where this is going to go. Yeah, no, yes. No more Hallmark call holidays. Aye, man. Ain't nothing easy, man. Ain't nothing easy. I'm not even talking about the children. I'm talking about these adults. And I'm really talking about Umar Johnson talking about he's a psychologist and psychiatrist. You help children. Help your goddamn children. Your children first. If you don't like what I said, my feet is definitely going to be open. <laughs> okay? So we're going to rap a little bit, y'all. So as long as I'm dancing and singing, you like me. Yeah, there's no manual, brother. No manual. But if you become an age and you over 25 years old, then nigga, you have to be responsible for what you put on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Am I making sense? I know it is some good fathers on here. All right, let's go. Let's share this out. Hurry up. Let's go. Let's go. Time is money, valuable than thank you. Time is the key to everything. As long as I'm dancing, acting around. Let's go. Let's share it out. Walking around like I don't know what's happening. You like me. You like me. You like me. If I'm talking about drinking, it's a good thing. We want it. We want it. We want Listen, 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 listen. This is the fifth element. The fifth element. As knowledge. long as I'm dancing, acting or rapping, walking around like I don't know what's happening. You like me, you like me. Listen, let's go back. One more time. One more time. Let's go. Listen. As long as I'm dancing, acting This is what my daughter bopping to. Walking around. This is what my two-year-old daughter be bopping to. No lie, hands down. I sent a video to my to Kara's one and Simone. My daughter was like rocking, rocking. Oh, ho, ho, ho. two years old. Like, I don't know what's happening. You like me, you like me, you like me. If I'm talking about drinking and nothing about thinking, as long as I'm high and I never ask why, you like me, you like me. Let's go, share it out. Let's go. I challenge all of y'all. You want to come? Bring it to the cypher. But the second I start with the state of the economy, black, black leadership, black cause, black, black sovereignty. That's when you can't. Sovereign. I'm going to break this down for y'all. Sovereign people, not sovereign citizens. Sovereign people, not sovereign citizens. Sovereign people, not sovereign citizen. Sovereign people is the political body consisting of the entire number of citizens and qualified electors who, in their collective capacity, possesses the power of sovereignty and exercise them through their chosen representative. Let me quote that one more time with my eyes closed. Let me do this for y'all. How the hell I memorize this? Sovereign people is the political body consisting of the entire number of citizens and qualified electors who in their collective capacity possesses the power of sovereignty and exercise them through their chosen 
Representative C. Scott versus Sanford. I told you I could do this blindfolded. Let's rewind this motherfucker back. Let's go. Listen. Yeah. But the second I start with the state of the economy, black leadership, black cards, and black sovereignty, that's when you can't seem to follow me. Confusion, you feel like you're losing. I'm no longer a music. This song's about choosing, choosing while you're cruising. Either black entertainment or the black revolution. People love to see a young black man rap until he wakes up and realizes he's caught in the trap. So as long as I'm dancing, acting or rapping, walking around like I don't know what Krispy Kreme donuts. Just charm them. If that doesn't work, then they move to Osama. Turn them into a terrorist so they can disarm them. Through the corporate media, we don't stand a chance, but too many people want us to just stand and dance. So as long as I'm dancing, acting or rapping, walking around like I don't know what's happening, you like me, you like me. If I'm talking about drinking and not about thinking as long as I'm high and I never ask why you like me, 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 you like me. Told you. Give thanks for everybody said this is the livest YouTube channel. I appreciate y'all, but I don't let that go to my head. But I thank you very much because I am a creator. I create content. I literally just sat in here. And as I was coming back to my rest, in my head, I was formulating what I was going to talk about. What was I going to talk about as I was going to sit down and talk with y'all? So this is going to be open for everybody. You know, people hit me up and say, yo, bro. You open this joint up for anybody that wants to come on the feed. Yeah, I do. I've been doing this over 20 years. I let y'all come on my feed and I let you put your foot in your mouth because you must think I'm a YouTuber. So for the people that ask me these questions about Sonetta and the Vlad and the Breakfast Club and the Charlemagne's, they don't want to have this conversation with Sabir Bay. If they do, you can share this to them right now. I've been doing it long enough. I ain't even talking about no Morris Treaty. There is no Morris Treaty. It's a Moroccan Treaty. There is no Morris Treaty. So please, people. Don't come with the nonsense, okay? It's a Moroccan treaty. That's what it's called. Stop taking things out of context. It was not a Mor Morris treaty. It is a Moroccan treaty, not a Morris treaty, okay? All right? So you can go get those Moors too and come over. But we have to say what it is. It's not a Moroc Morris treaty. And that's the problem with people you're listening to. And I want you to share this to all those groups. And I challenge every last one of them that come on here. OK. I challenge them because they keep saying stuff. As long as I'm selling you packages, I don't sell packages. What up, sis? Foxy Moon was good. I don't sell those packages. I don't sell those dreams. I don't do that. I don't. This is the truth channel. And those are the five principles we stand on is love, truth, Peace, freedom, justice. Be not like the bird who sees the seed, but not the trap. Do y'all see the title? Do y'all see the title? Be not like the bird who sees the seed, but not the trap. Now, who can anybody tell me who said that? Can anybody tell me who said that? Be not like the bird who sees the seed but not the trap. 
<laughs> Jason said, thank you, Sabir. I'm just being real with you, homie. You can share this to their group page right now. I'll take my time, young man. Mama used to say, don't you rust get up. I got time. Share it to them and watch the questions I would ask them. I don't sell dreams, man. Okay. So who said that, y'all? Somebody said, Ibn, somebody. Oh, you close. They scared to show up, fam. Oh, somebody said, you close. You close. I'm not talking about, make this clear. I don't talk about Noble Drali, and I'm not talking about the Circle 7 Quran. It's more books than the Circle 7 Quran. So I'm not, let me make this clear for anybody that think I'm one of those Moors. I don't come out of the Circle 7 Quran, and I'm not speaking of the Circle 7 Quran. I don't speak for the Moors Science Temple of America either. Okay? All right? Oh, you good, dude. You see the name? Did You don't see the title? Read the title, brother. Jason, read the title. <laughs> this is why we have to have the higher education. Nope, it wasn't Averroes either. Did you, are you reading the title, Chiquetta? It's on the title. Oh, uh, you got it. Yahuda Ibn Talbun, the Moorish Jew. Ooh, that's him right there. Be not like the bird who sees the seed, but not the trap. That's in Granada, Spain, the Moorish Jew. Ooh, go look it up online. Go look him up. Go look him up online. Yahuda, Y-E-H. You see that? Not J. Ibn Taubun in Granada, Spain. Ooh, you see why? And it's spelled Y, not a J. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Walaikum assalam, beloved Christopher Muhammad. You know the funny thing is when I went overseas, you know they didn't use the, the term Muhammad at one time. Do you know they did not use Muhammad was new? Do you know that the bays were there? That's something, a little something I learned when I was overseas. When I went to Morocco, they said they don't use Muhammad's, I mean bays anymore, they use Muhammad's. That's part of history. It's not being told. So again, I want y'all to share this out to all these groups. I don't know how long I'm going to rock with you, but something's going to come out the top of my head. And if you want to support me, the cash app is on there and the PayPal is on there. Sabir Bay, dollar sign, Sabir Bay's cash app. And Zelly and PayPal is Sabir Bay radio at gmail.com. Be not like the bird who sees the seed, but the trap. So if y'all see somebody quote that again, Say, why y'all never got on Sabir Bay's feed, but you actually took his stuff? That's why I got to be very careful. You know kind of some of these cats, but they can't duplicate the pictures. They can't duplicate those pictures, though. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. I'm damn good at what I do. I don't know why you ask me. Why don't you go look up what was before Bay? Do you know what Bay means? See, this is the thing. Bay is not even a name. It's a title. That's what people don't understand. Bay's are titles ills are titles europeans had names european had names yes they violated human rights but guess who's fighting for those rights though europeans did y'all see those europeans going to the market why niggas over here getting stopped by the by the feds with guns in their car and black folks in social media trying to justify it did y'all see that did y'all europeans are fighting going in stores while black folks are showing their vaccine cards so they can get a Krispy Kreme donut. <laughs> Why am I saying this? Why am I saying what I'm saying? I'm going to repeat this again. Negroes are going to get Krispy Kreme by showing their vaccination card, killing themselves with the hydrogenated oil lock everything inside Krispy Kreme but yet Europeans are going into markets with no mask on did y'all see that video bear with me We're gonna, I'm gonna help y'all out so thank you for that super chat Christopher I appreciate you homie so what am I talking about 
Hmm. Let me see if I can find the video. Bear with me. And then we're going to get into this, this so-called rapper out here today. That's why I said, as long as I'm dancing and singing, you like me. But bear with me one second. Let me see if I can find. Here it is. I think this is it. Listen up. Yeah. This is what Europeans do. Here we go. We're Hold up. Hold up. Getting ready to go in. Yeah. And scary black, these so-called black conscious people kills me. And I hope y'all share this to their pages. Straight up. They say, well, they got, they're, they're white. If it was a bunch of black people that did that, they would have locked them up and shot them. This is what black, see, y'all catch the game yet? Y'all see this, how this works? Or if it was black people that went into the Capitol, oh my God, they would have killed them. Why don't you try it? Or why don't you try to educate your goddamn people instead of playing this white and black game and playing the white supremacy game? Let's stop playing the, I hope y'all share this to them. Let's start, stop playing the white supremacy game and if, the, if we did it, they would shoot us and kill us. Why not try it? You try every goddamn thing else. They try everything else. They get on social media, the white man's social media, because the white man owns your Facebook, owns your Instagram, owns your YouTube, owns all of it. And don't say, because Sabir, you're here. I don't talk like that. I talk truth. And you can put any of those Europeans in the room with me. And I won't say it's white supremacy. I won't get into the white man is doing this because there is no such thing as the white man. And that is a fact. That's why you don't have your Charlemagne's reaching out to me. That's why I really talk. Sanetta don't want to talk to me because if you put the mic in my face, I'm going to say, dude, are you serious, bro? Do you, are you inferior to anybody? You, are y'all following me? Cause I need y'all to follow me. <laughs> I need you to follow me. How about share it out? So let me show you what these Europeans did and Asian people. Bear with me. I don't even care about Gil. I don't care about Bill Gates' father. I don't care about none of that. Those are irrelevant subjects. Let's make this go viral. Okay? Let's make this motherfucker go viral. Listen. Watch. They going to church. Ready to go in. Yeah. Watch this. Pay attention. Go, 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 go. This is the gangster. Now, this is gangster. No mask. This is I want y'all to see what they did. They prepped. They're making people go against each other. Watch this. Hold on. Hey, don't touch me. Don't touch me. That's assault. That's assault. You touch me. That's assault. You touch me. That's assault. That's assault. That's assault. Are we up? Share it out. We're going to talk about it. Somebody with a mask will say, Y'all troopers, G. Look, look, look. Where'd you get there? You got a bag of chips? Yep, Wow. Right. The lady threw a basket at us. Oh, customer. Okay. Where'd you get? Okay, you got a bag of chips. Yep, I got it. Right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year's, everyone. Happy New Year. Why are you doing this? Awesome. Okay. Where's our fruit? These are $2.99. $2.99. All right. Thank you. Okay. We got jazz apples for $2.99. Okay. Now we have what you want. You have what you want. We're not going to serve you. This is discrimination. Hold up. Ready? Yes. Yes. 
Y'all don't get it yet. Now watch the scary black folks say y'all shouldn't do that. Y'all shouldn't do that. He's taking a picture that he paid for it with cash. Uh, uh, up, make this go viral, y'all. Make it go viral. Hey, hey, don't touch my camera. That's assault. Yeah. Y'all see what's going on? Y'all see this? Oh, we, oh, we, we pay. Pay. Hey, 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 hey. I know some of you black folks don't understand this because you're scary as shit. But they went into a Trader Joe's, not a regular public market. Negroes are so petrified because of social media. I did a I sent a message to this guy named Bill Anderson. Y'all should go watch him. His name is Bill at Fox. I'm going to share this with y'all. I'm going to show you who I'm talking about. Bill used to do radio with me in Philadelphia. And I said, brother, if you got the shot, why the hell you got a mask on in the car? He got both shots and wearing a mask. I want y'all to see the stupidity and how they're turning people against. And um, when you touch somebody, that's an insult. Go get me any attorney right now. And I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people share this to attorneys because people tell me that all the time. So if we had real attorneys, real attorneys, real attorneys, right? Right? Get the hell out of here. Wear, wear a mask because you don't want germs. People touch germs every day. Germs every day. You touch the ATM machine. You sleep with your husband if you got a husband or you sleep with your wife because you don't know what the hell that person doing. You buy clothes from the store, got germs in it. You in the airport. I'm in many airports. I never see them wipe off the bins. How many times? You, let's keep it real. Let's keep this real. Let's talk for real, for real. Germs. People don't care about no germs. You eating pork. You eating meat. So if y'all don't like it, let me put the link on here. Hold up. It ain't an issue. You're not hearing anything. I know you probably call it Nas Caroline. I understand that part. If you feel some type of way, I'm fine with it. I understand that. I understand. That. I've been in about 10 states. So there's my link right there if you want to come on. I've been in about 10 states and I don't have it. I keep my immune system and I eat right. So the conditioning is to give me one second. I got to charge my phone up. People, our people are lost, man. You got to let these mother freakers die. You really got to let black people die. And their religion is crazy killing them. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. What those people said is that you violated, you assaulting me. When you put your hands on someone, that's an assault. 
if you don't understand <laughs> that you are discriminated against people, they're violating the law because there is no law on wearing a mask. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know that? Don't believe me. Go get me an attorney. I, I, I got time. 30 minutes I've been home. Go get me an attorney, a good one. Go get me a real good one. Real one. So let me help y'all out how this works. The, the Declaration of Independence says this. I'm going to help y'all out. Bear with me because I want to I want to see the law. I want to see the law where it says it's a law at. It's a law. I told you I played that song. As long as I'm dancing and singing, you like me. But there is no law. Did y'all know that? Do you know that the Declaration of Independence states this? Yeah, people are nasty. Before this happened, I was in Barcelona, Spain with my sister, Maiva, and we was in a bathroom. She was in a female bathroom. I was in a men's bathroom. Right. And she said, the white people are nasty. No lie. This is what she said to me. We was in Barcelona University. I was in the men's room. Do you know in Islam people that you have to, it's a thing called estinja. Did y'all know that? I want y'all to look it up. It's called estinja. You wash your penis off when you go to the bathroom. Did y'all know that? Did did y'all know that it's called a stinger? And did y'all know that Europeans brought those diseases over here? And what we're doing today, we eating and acting just like the European. <laughs> it's we wash five times out of a day, five times out of a day. A mandate is not a law. Thank you very much. That's somebody that reads a mandate is not a law. See the law that they're violating. Let me help. Let me help my sister out just in case she don't read. Let me help out. And I'm going to quote it. First of all. No, I'm not calling our sister. I'm very well. What's going on? France for said this. I first when I went overseas, I had to sit on the bed and say this. I said, I am really calling us. But when you wake up out of that and you see really what's going on, when you see what's going on, you do something about it, because the declaration I'm going to help you out. I'm going to quote the Declaration of Independence. The declaration, you should get it. It's called government are instituted amongst men, deriving their power from the consent of the governed. And that when any form of government become destructive to its ends, it is the right of the people to alter it, abolish it, and institute a new one. I'm going to quote this for you one more time, Sister Caroline, and I want you to go look it up. Government are instituted amongst men, not little boys not little girls, amongst men, deriving their power from the consent of the governed. And that when any form of government, be it federal, state, or local, become destructive to its ends, it is the right of the people to alter it, abolish it, and institute a new one. Now tell me where did I go wrong at? Give me one second. I know this is a hard pill to swaddle, but I know education and what it does to you. I mean, indoctrination. I know what that does, but bear with me one second. Let me let me let me help her out with the Declaration of Independence in one second. And I'm going to show you how they play us and exploit us. I'm going to show the Declaration of Independence, just in case you all don't know what that book is, that all attorneys supposed to know these books. Every last one of them supposed to know this this is not Sabir Bay's job it's their job to tell you that but we're gonna have some fun bear with me okay my, my request lines is open don't be afraid to come on because I'm not here to beat you up I just know that some people are comfortable so we care so much about cleansing this god damn we'd be doing a whole lot more we wouldn't be eating that goddamn pork or that meat in our refrigerator <laughs> Give me one second. Let me see if I can find it. Why are you coming down on our people? I ain't coming down on none of us, but I just want y'all to see what's going on. But I want you to look up the Declaration of Independence first and foremost. Rock with me. I don't need to, I mean, I don't need to look it up. Y'all should go read the Declaration of Independence. Can somebody come on and read the Declaration for me? But I'm going to show you how they play us. I'm going to show you what they, how they exploit our people. Bear with me. Are y'all okay? There was a rapper that just got arrested. This, this is this is how they play our people, right? 
Young rapper, a rapper, NBA, young boy arrested in L.A., taken into FBI custody. I said. Are you following me? If I can't read to leave my feed, <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> OK, I'm reading something. Because I'm not reading your comments. Read. Give me some. I just read that. Severe can read. So obviously I can read if I read that. <laughs> Rapper NBA, young boy arrested in LA. Right? Hold up. They said, somebody said, bring him to us. Right? So I'm looking at this and replied. Somebody put in a comment. Also, they said the gun was in the car, not in his person. If a gun is in your car, right? The game is they're going to get you regardless. Oh, they're going to get you regardless. But if you pay attention to these rappers, I just need you all to follow me. Remember what I told you. Be not like the bird who sees the seed, but not the not the trap. But they would exploit this and put this out here on our young brothers. But I can't necessarily fault them because this is how the system is. Rap about killing and stealing and doing all that. That's what they want them to do. They want them to do that. Am I making sense, people? Because I'm really trying to make it plain. If y'all don't overstand me, come on the feed and I rock with you. Do y'all see what's going on? So the people that they want on the forefront, they're going to keep flooding them and give them all the money in the world. So if you got it in your car, you got it. The game is real. The game is real. <laughs> but Europeans are fighting against what you should be fighting against while we getting paid to put out the bull. While we getting paid to put out the bull and they're going to catch them in the long run. Instead of saying, yo, all the rappers get in line. How about this? This be dope, wouldn't it? Wouldn't this be dope if it was really their money? If it was these rappers money, wouldn't this be dope itself? If all the rappers got in line and went into the markets with no mask on. They got the money to bail themselves out, don't they? How about that? That sound dope. So imagine if we had influence. Remember, I told you money is not the power. It's the influence also. So if all the rappers got together, said we're going to walk in this mother freaking because they talk about carrying guns all the time. Your security guard should have the gun, not you. The security guy should have the gun, not the rapper. Either you're going to be a gangster or you're going to be a rapper and you hire security to actually have the guns. So why am I saying this? Do you know I do know DL very well? I know Eddie very well. I know who carries who. I know who around Eddie Griffin who has the guns. I know who DL Hughley has an ex-police officer. Quite a few of them, I think. Stevie Wonder has an ex-police officer too that does security. Stevie ain't carrying no gun. DL ain't carrying a gun. It's security carrying a gun. Are y'all paying attention to me? So if all these rappers got so much money, why would you carry a gun? <laughs> Why? See, the common sense is not there anymore. The go along, the get along is there. So what happens, we're going to push this rapper out here. And all these rappers keep falling for the same trap. Do y'all see this? Are y'all paying attention to what's going on? Am I making sense? I know it's no law you have to have to wear a mask. I already know that. But see, when you can create, when you can put billions behind advertisement and get these black people to get a, a kickback, like Brother Taj Tariq Bay said, to get a kickback to tell you all this, yo, you got to wear a mask on. Um, I've been in media for a very long time. Guess what they said? We, oft, we often listen to most people that's famous. They get famous people to promote this. And what happened? Okay. I'm pseudo to leave my page then, baby. If I'm pseudo to leave, peace. It's free to leave. But I know you a fake page. But anyway, it's easy to leave. But they get famous people to actually go out there and tell y'all to do this. Let me put this link up here for one second. The link is right here, y'all. Let's do this. Let's put the link up. Let's put the link up. What up, homie? Oh. What's good? The link Nothing is. Hold up. Peace, peace, nothing much. Peace, peace. Dude, 
We are in trouble, brother. We are in mad freaking trouble. They think everybody hit me about this young boy. They said, yo, Sabir, I'm like, let him listen. In, in a way, I feel bad for him. You know I me mean? in a way, but I was like, I have a responsibility to do something. And I have to say something. Right, right. right. Pertains to Africans. Well, who the what law then? Why are you following any law? Let me ask my sister Caroline something. Why are you following any of their laws then? Now, this is not being smart. I'm just being real with you. If the declaration per, doesn't pertain pertains to African-born Americans, then tell me why are you following any of their laws? Can somebody answer that for her? Or y'all can come on. Man, matter of fact, you can answer that for me. Why? If, if none of these things apply to us, right? Right. Then why are these black folks following any of it? Because they don't read, they don't know, and... I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm just asking for a friend. If it does not, I'm asking her. If it does, don't apply, then why follow anything? <laughs> Thank you. Somebody said, just use the laws. So <laughs> if it does not apply, then say F them. Because I do it all the time. But I'm the bad right. guy. I really do, because I go at it. I look, Professor <laughs> Small the other day, right? I was talking to uh -huh. Professor Small that I was, in, I was in Starbucks, right? So everybody in the Starbucks out here in Chicago know me, right? So, right. I, so by, somebody's new. So mind you, I'm in there. You know, I respectfully, I put, I put it on, but I put it down here, right? I, you know, when I go to the counter. So I'm in there drinking my coffee. So this lady says, excuse me, sir, you have to put your mask up. You got to leave. I said, lady, listen, I'm testing my coffee, all right? You know, and so she started going, and I started going. And, we, and I'm on the phone, but Professor, anybody talk to Professor James Smalls. When you all ever talk to him, ask him, what did Sabir do when he was in that coffee shop? Watch <laughs> he told me today, no lie, small said to me today, he said, don't beat nobody up, Sabir. Like, <laughs> 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 he, said, he said, no lie. He said, he said, Sabir, don't beat nobody up. Because he heard me cursing the lady out. So the dude said, you know what, bro? This, you know, you want to you take the call. You want to you want some cake too, like, he's right? Like, <laughs> That's what was going on. He said, "You know what? They don't. It's like because I do stuff on myself. You know right. but this is going on, right? And I'm a realist, and I live this. I live what I'm telling you. I live this. <laughs> this is what my sister said on here. She said, knock on your government's governor's door and see how far you get. That's the problem.'" It's not enough of us that's doing that. Not enough of us doing it. You, you know you what? You know what? Sister Caroline, I will do it because I'm going to speak the language of them. Let me make this you know clear what? one more time. Get me your best of your best attorneys and tell them to put up some money and let and get me in there. Let, let's let's put this on the platform because Malcolm said this. The media is the most powerful tool. Malcolm X said this. The media is the most powerful tool. The media can make you love your oppressor and hate the oppressed. I'm not an educated black person, sister. I'm not that. So why don't you put up some money or share this to one of your people that's in politics? Because I know they're watching. And then we can have to sit down because that's the only way we're going to fix this mother freaking. So that's what I want you to do. They're not my governor. Do you know what the bay means? Let me help her out. I want you to Google this name. Do you know what the bay? See, this is the education part, brother. Do you know what that bay means? Bay means governor. Right. Make this clear for you, my sister. You don't understand history. So they took the bays from the bay and called themselves the governors. Make me out of a liar. Do you see how education plays a part in this? And see how law goes into this? You said they took the bay out the bay. They took the bay out. And, the bay. You're going to talk until you're sick. I would never, ever be sick. My immune system is, my immune system is built. I'm fine. <laughs> Do you know I lay down for a minute and I just think about things and be like, okay, let me get up and let me talk about this. <laughs> because this man don't stop. Bob Marley said, the people that's trying to make this world worse don't take a day off, so why should I? Bob said this when he got shot. The people that's hmm. trying to make this world worse don't take a day off, so why should I? That's why I got to laugh at everything. Because what happens, so well, won't you go knock on your governor's door? I am the governor. And I will sit in his room, but let me help you out. See, this is the difference between her and me. I was That's what I'm talking about, Sister Thomas. <laughs> this is, I did this before. I, if I was, you think I'm lying? 
Let me tell you something. If you think I'm lying, go get your attorneys on here right now. If you think I'm bullshit, go get them. So I would sit in the room with a governor and say, well, where do you get that term? Where did your term governor come from? I, I'm just asking for a friend. I'm asking for a friend, not me, because I, I know. But it's for the friend. I might have a visible friend sitting there and be like, for the friend right here. <laughs> I don't think I'm playing, man. Yo, this is, we don't get it, brother. And see, this is, <coughs> this is what Carter G. Woodson was talking about on the miseducation of the Negro. If you ever read this book, his book, and the other book, The Education of the Negro and The Miseducation of the Negro, he broke that down. Let me, yeah, let me those my ne that was my next two books I'm, uh, that I'm about to get ready to read. I'm on I'm on the uh, the J.A. Rogers, you know what I'm saying, sting right now. But uh, I'm going to get to that, man. I know sister, hold up. My sister said, I know they will be sick. They're going to be sick than a motherfucker. Maybe I, maybe I need to make a deal with Krispy Kreme, too. Hey, y'all y'all can go get some. No, matter of fact. I'm gonna help him out. We're gonna go get some vegan donuts. I got some vegan donuts over here. Yo, you listen. You'll be, you be, you be, you be better off talking to Shaq about that to even get anything through the Krispy Kremes. <laughs> I'm being real, man. This, like, and I'm being real too. <laughs> no, people don't care to read. And that's why the lady said, I don't care. I would have just stuck my arm out and just took. Look, this lady said, I don't care. <laughs> and then I would have stuck my arm out. But I'll be, if you bring common yeah, sense. I was I was tripping I was tripping when she got up there, you know what I'm saying, on national television and said that bull crap. Brother, that's the people <laughs> that they look for. Those are the people they push out in the front for you. That's yeah, she did it. Nigga, because she jumped off a bridge, don't mean I'm gonna jump off that motherfucker. Right, right. That's that same old saying that they told you as a kid. Well, why did you do that? Because your homeboy did it. You know what I'm saying? Would you do you know what I'm saying? Like that's and the same thing we've always grown up to know. Yeah, and then you get in trouble. But 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 this time, this time, when they get in trouble, they playing with their life this time. Oh, no doubt. Oh, no doubt. They playing with you their really life. playing with your life now. You you really playing chicken. You know what I'm saying? How they used to do back in them old school, what it was in the uh, 60 and 70 movies when they used to play chicken and, and crap to see who was gonna jump out the car first. Like, yeah, man, that's that's what you're playing. I'm 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 gonna play something for them. Now, if I'm wrong on any, listen, I'm a lawyer, my witness. If I'm wrong on anything, my feed is open to y'all. I'm not going to make, I ain't going to belittle you. I don't do stuff like that, but I'm going to make your ass think. I one, am more thing before, one more thing before you play whatever you're going to play. Sabir, I ended up coming across the California Desposi uh, uh, Desposition and Discovery Practice uh, three volumes. Really? Uh, yeah. I'm debating whether or not I want to buy it because... They, I'm not even gonna put the price out here because then everybody will be able to find it. But it's from uh, from uh, I think it said it's from uh, eighty two to two thousand seventeen. Is oh, that man, still that's pseudo, brother? Get out of here. That's pseudo, homie. What's wrong with you, bro? The white man didn't pseudo. tell you that on TV. Whoa, whoa, we didn't go to college for that, brother. That's pseudo. Get the hell out of here with that, bro. Okay, okay. The pseudo. That's pseudo. That ain't real. Okay. That's pseudo. Okay. And it's right. how they be coming. No, that's pseudo, homie. Nah, that's pseudo. Okay. All right. Well, look, I'm about to jump off this feed and I'll be right back. All right, man. Come right back, man. Yo, we crazy. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you know, everybody quote Malcolm is a we sick. Yeah, nigga. Y'all are sick. You be like, we sick, man. We sick. So y'all got time? I ain't got number time because time never was and man was not. So we're going to have some fun. I'm going to play Carter G. Woodson. So pull out Carter G. Woodson. All of them declarations and constitution pertains to you, African born. Whatever it is, sister. I just told you use your tools. If you're working for somebody, use your tools. Let me tell you the tools I use today. Y'all ready? I'm gonna show y'all my tools. I'm gonna help you out, my sister Caroline. Notice, I listen. I can care less if you rock with me. If you don't, I just guarantee you that I know you're gonna get something. And this is not being arrogant. You're arrogant because you're not paying attention. But I want you to listen to me for a second. Use your tools, my sister. I can play both sides of this mother freaking. I can sit with them and I can go to the hood of the hooders of the hoods. The hood of the hooders of the hoods. So use your tools. I went into a store today and I did this when I came back from Mexico. I was in Mexico in December. Oh, well, you were in Mexico? Yeah, I was in Mexico. Go watch my pictures. So I was in a store today and, the, and they, you know, on the front counter, they got 10% off essential workers. 
essential workers. No lie. This is what I did. So I get to the front. I was with somebody, too. and They can bear witness to what I'm saying. I go to the front and they, she said, you have something to say you're an essential worker? I said, yeah, I do radio. So I Googled my name. And if you Google Sabir Bay Radio, Sabir Bay Radio, all of that stuff popped up straight up. Everything popped up with my picture on it, right? Essential worker. So when I came back from Mexico, they asked me, what was I doing? I said, I'm an essential worker. I do do radio. So the girl, I, I turned my phone around, punched Sabir Bay and Sabir Bay Radio in Google search, turned the phone around and got my 10%. Damn, that's smart. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Do y'all peep it? That's how this works. So know the tools, know the game, know, play chess, play life's chess, life chess. Okay. Life's chess, not make believe chess, life's chess. So I use my tools. So use your tools. If you know the declaration of independence, like these Europeans do, they do know that government are instituted amongst men. See, you don't understand the difference between this the fifth and the 14th amendment. So I'm gonna help y'all, my sister Caroline, pick it up. I want you to pick this up because y'all love, love to say, well, I'm gonna go vote for this person. Well, I'm gonna go vote for that person. How are you gonna vote for somebody and tell somebody what to do when you don't know what they're supposed to do themselves? Oh, I'm gonna repeat this again. Help me out. Help me make sense out of this. How could you tell someone what to do when you yourself don't know what they supposed to do. That's a question for anybody. You can either come on the feed, come on my IG and talk to me. How could you tell someone what to do when you yourself don't know what they supposed to do? No, I didn't get no stimulus check, sister. I didn't get no checks. And actually, my son got killed and they sent me money for that. And I didn't even accept that money. I got shot the hell up and I didn't accept that money. Some people may say that's stupid, but no, I did not accept no money from them. No, I did not. Because I understand the game. Let me show you what they were doing with the homeless people out here. This is what I found out. Look, I was talking to this guy with this one. And I and if you go watch the dude, hear me have the, edu the conversation with him, right? Peep this. I, I walked outside on Michigan Avenue, right? This Avenue. Are you a, are you in the homeless community? Go watch that. He might be watching this right now. You're eligible. For that. And he was laughing every time I see him, right? But I said, I said, the girl said you have to have an address, right? I said, yeah, right. tell me you, your address is on Michigan and Erie. That's your address. You sitting outside. That's your address, right? And this is what law comes into play again. So the catch was. She gave out this too. So they're going to get their money back from somebody somehow, some way. <laughs> this is the game. Do you peep it? Peep the game. So this is what the girl was giving out. She's on here too, because I told her to take my Instagram down. She's watching. So I'm talking to the homeless dude. And I said, when did they start making a homeless community? I said, dude, is it a black community? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> me for one second let's use common sense and logic right blacks have nothing in common you probably have you do have a you know if you want to say slave community yeah you, you if you out your mouth say you're a slave then you could be that community but blacks right. you know we have different ideologies just like right now i'm telling y'all something blacks will say they christians muslims seven day adventists apostolics atheists right right <coughs> me, my G. But I can say hip hop is a community though, and that's international. And hey, that's true. International. Are oh, you following? That's true. That's true. Hip that's true. Hip -hop is I'm am part of the hip hop culture. I am part of the hip hop culture, and the hip hop culture is in every country there is. If I walk into a country, say I am hip hop. They're going to be like, I am too. <laughs> you follow me? I don't care what language. If you walk into any country from China to Africa, Sudan, whatever, they're going to say, I am hip hop. You're like, nigga, how are you hip hop? You know what I mean? How are you hip hop? 
You're a culture vulture, but black folks are culture vultures. Ooh. Ooh. But you are a culture vulture because you're in somebody else's culture and don't even realize it, but you do realize it and you're ignoring it. You're ignoring the culture. You are dressing like the European. The, the wearing of the tie is a European culture. And right? I hate wearing ties. Help me out. <laughs> it's not African. But see, this I is hate wearing ties. And this is why you got to study pick stuff like Franz Fanon. Franz Fanon in Black Skin, White Mass, he talked about the colonizer. He talked about the inferiority of the black man. Go read Franz Fanon's book, Black Skin, White Mass. He said that. He said the dressing of the Europeans, speaking like the European, when you get around European, they start talking a different way. Yeah, man, you know what, Charlie? Yeah, but who did that skit one day? I think it was Dave Chappelle. He did a skit like that when he was in a room. And then he walked outside, he got right, he said, yeah, my nigga, you know. Man. You know he switched up when he got right. You follow me? France Fanon spoke about that. Guys like Dave Chappelle do read those things, right? Certain people read, but we don't. So when we get around them, we gotta dress a certain way because we'll say, oh, you gotta have a, a proper name. You ever hear that when growing up? You better not have no name like Khalid. You better not have no name like that. You ain't gonna get a job. I'd be like, maybe I don't need a job than just over broke. Maybe I need to go create a job. Create that mother. You know what? You know what? And that, that, that's crazy because of my, you know what I'm saying? My birth name. Like, if you look, if, if you hear it, folks would be like, and I've always got, I've actually gotten job interviews because people was like, dude, we wanna see what, we just had an interview with you because we wanted to see what you was. You follow me? You know how many times right. I got an, an Uber and a Lyft? They said, I didn't know where you were from. You look, I thought you was from the Middle East. Like, this is what they would say to me because my name's Sabir Dual Bay. So on, on a Uber and Lyft, on my debit cards and all that, it says Sabir Bay. So in their minds, they don't know what I look like, right? They don't know. They, you know, then I'm coming right. with the, in my hair, right? So right. they looking for, <laughs> the Ubers be looking for, they be like, <laughs> Yeah, especially, especially like when they look at my last name, they like, oh, we don't know what nationality you are. Exactly. <laughs> you the vulture, vulture? The right. Vultures are those people who are mm -hmm. dressing in the European or the colonizer's clothes. And don't come to me and say this is European because this is not from Europeans. Adidas is DC Ababa, which is my African culture. Germans just took it. Adis means new flower. Adisi Ababa means new flower. I know my culture. <laughs> I know it's us. Hey, you know what? It's crazy that you that you enlighten us on the, the Adidas and the Puma thing. And and just like before I even found out about the Puma thing, at least about eight months ago, like my heart my soul was like moving towards those two companies like just like Why? right now like like right i don't know but now i know like right now i'm buying a gang of pool stuff it's in the the DNA. see this right. is cool, brother bruce lee used to say flow like the flow like the ocean the river like flow what we do is right. fight against it what we right. do is fight against you don't swim against the mother you swim with the mother <laughs> you follow right. me we're trying to fight against it, and this is what is happening to our people. So when people hear me speak, they think I'm coming at them. No, I'm trying to get you to think different because I know what the European has done in their school. I know what they've done in their school system, and it was by design. So when I'm saying rise up, I'm not talking about, you know, pulling out guns because y'all ain't equipped for that. Mental, mess with them mentally. Play with them mentally or go in a gang. Like I told you, get all the rappers together and walk into a store with no mask on, my jig. That'd be a hell of a thing to do. You follow me? Go get them all together. Let's walk into the store and say, what up? We, okay, we got we got our bill money. You know how they used to do back in the day? You know how they used yeah. to do white, you know, somebody <laughs> on the side? Yeah, we're going to pay for them to get out. You think about it. Let me do it. Nigga be like, I ain't paying that nigga some beer. I told her, I ain't paying for him to get out. No, I told her. Hell no. Listen, I ain't got the money. I, I cheerleaded them, but I'm going <laughs> to. <laughs> but I do it anyway. I do it any yes, be like the water, Bruce Lee said. I do it anyway without nobody backing me. I'm fine. And trust me, every day I'm at peace, my G. And again, if you think I'm lying with James Small, if you ever see James Smalls live, ask him what Sabir did in that store. Watch what he tasted. 
he, <laughs> Smalls was on the floor. Like it was like he stepped back. He's like, Nick, I was in there tripping. I was, <laughs> dude, I'm in there tripping because you know why? It's it's the crazy part is this is what's going on, man. When I was in the other Starbucks, the dude came to me and told me to put a mask on. I said, man, get away from me, man. I said, I will sue your ass for discrimination. And that's what people have to understand. Understand the discrimination part. That's what they're doing. They're violating your civil rights. Now, if black folks say that doesn't apply to this, then tell all them goddamn black attorneys to sit their hell out. Tell them to sit down right. then. But that's all the hell they talking about is civil rights. They're not talking about human rights. All of them are talking about civil rights. So let me help you educated black folks out. Let me help you out. Civil rights is for discrimination, just in case you don't understand that. Y'all see it all the time. So when they discriminate against you by going into a store and telling you, it's actually two, it's actually a human rights and a civil rights because you're stopping a person. Right. You follow me? You're stopping somebody from eating. So it's a civil rights because you, number one, you discriminated against me. That's number one. Because I'm not, because I'm not looking like everybody else. Exactly. I don't have to. <laughs> This is the Do you understand? <laughs> so imagine if I had the money, how what platforms I would be on. See, these scary people be watching my videos. They're like, no, we don't want that nigga. He might say so. That's what DL told me that. Yes, you can sue them. It's a lawsuit. I want y'all to really look it up. Dead serious. Look up civil rights. Or go get me some attorneys because I know they're watching. Please hurry up and share this to them. Real fast. It's private. No, it's not. It's public. Publix is public too. See, y'all don't get this. It's open to, don't they say this all the time? Help me out. Don't they say open to the public all the time? Don't they use those slogans? Right. Don't they, I mean, I'm just saying, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm little lingo. Help me out. Right. That, that's true. That's true. Don't they say that? I told you every time you throw something, that means even you trying to get something from me for free, Sister Caroline, I hope you hit my cash app up. That works too. Because she's throwing things out. I don't know if to bait me into this to get, to tell us something because that's called common sense. It ain't rocket science. <laughs> yeah, because most places even either say open, open, open to the public, uh, uh, open for uh, uh, what is it, a uh, resale or uh, or wholesale? I Sorry, I don't know. Maybe I got, maybe I got it yeah, wrong. It'll say, it say open for wholesale, so you already know you can't come in that bad boy without a a, a wholesale license. Yo. So, yeah, now that's yeah. <laughs> Pay attention. That, that's, now, that's, that's what I'm saying. Right. Like that's private. private. Like Costco's and you know, right? That's private. Okay. But the other ones are public. You follow me? <laughs> you, <laughs> you don't need no membership. Costco? Don't you need a membership to go in Costco? Right, right. You need a oh, membership right. or some right. some type of special ID. You need a special <laughs> ID to get in. Well, to me, it's private property, sister. I just explained to you how simple it was. I just and I just told you discrimination. Let me help you out. Let me let me let me take y'all back. Let me take you back. She probably lived at this era too. When the people was getting on the bus, right? Remember back in the 60s? It wasn't that long ago. You remember when Rosa Parks, was the bus private or public? <laughs> was the bus private or public? <laughs> <laughs> was, hold up. Was the <laughs> public, brother? Somebody help me. It was public. <laughs> All right, then. What did they do? What did they do at that time frame? Stop playing, man. I'm not these college dudes, man. I'm not. Let's use logic, common sense, critical thinking. Common sense. I know this is hard for you, sister. Common sense, logic, critical thinking. So if the buses are public, then damn it, what is the stores then? Again, we just showed you that Costco's What's the other store? You got Sam's Club. You got. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, rather, you arrested. Let me help you out. The problem is, every, this is why I said, why don't you, Caroline, since you say you work for politicians, let's have an open dialogue on this motherfucker. Do y'all think we should do that? Let's sit with some people who are not conditioned. Let's sit with somebody or put up money or tell these attorneys to put up money. Yeah, BJ's. Hey, what is BJ's? What is BJ's? I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I, another wholesale place. I like a, is a that on the car. Is, is that on the East Coast or or? I think it's the East Coast thing. Okay. All right. All right. I'm sorry for asking that question. I just wanted to know. Uh, I, no, it's good. But, you <laughs> ask but some of these people speaking, 
and just saying things without even because they haven't showed me anything with law. I just broke down the Declaration of Independence. I just broke down the, the Constitution. I ain't see her put up anything about the Constitution yet. I ain't here to say nothing, but I told her to go get the witcher comb. I'm not playing. I'm dead ass serious. <laughs> Trust me, you can hang out with me. I, I'm ready to. We can go through the rope a dope. I'm fine with it. Let me put my link up here. Trust me, I am so fine. Just because I'm not going along with that bull crap, then let's go. That's the link right there, sister. Talk to me for a minute. Let's talk. Go get me some attorneys on here. So if these places are public, it's still a discrimination case. That's all I'm saying. What, what is so hard with our people? What is, what, what is wrong with black folks in the United States? I'm just asking. But they go to all of these colleges. Let me play something for you. They go to all these colleges. I got jokes, brother. Hold up. Watch this. I got jokes. Bear with me. <laughs> Boy, we in trouble, man. Do y'all know how hard this really is to deal with our own people? Give me one second. Let me see if I can play this. We in trouble, boy. Hit the wrong button. I would not want to be with them on the battlefield. My bad. I, I hit the wrong button. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm uh. for you. I would not want to be with them on no battlefield, bro. Cause these niggas, I told, look, this is what they'll say. I told you don't do it. I told you don't do it. <laughs> I said don't do it, but you did it. Hold up, this is dumb. Watch this. Listen to this. Hold up. Give me one second. <laughs> yeah, you know you. I'm dead ass what, serious. What white lady got arrested in the store what for not wearing a mask? My thing was she did it. That's the point. She did it. She was proving the point, and that's what more of our people need to do, to do it. Listen. I might develop a challenging rhythmical extra. This is, this is black folks. This is, this is black folks. Get away with date rape. Yeah. This is black folks. And, and in black college movies, the, the lead always says this line every time. I'm gonna go to college. <laughs> For the beginning of the film, I'm gonna go as if someone just told him, "There's no way you're gonna go to college, man." Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go. That's the plot of the film, yeah, right there. Right. This guy's gonna go to college. <laughs> college, really, it, 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 college is a given. College is a back. Oh yeah. It's about how do I get out of college? That's right. How do I do as little as possible? White boys. Oh man, I'm sick of this trust fund and my dad being a, a legacy. <laughs> Black college movies, yeah. I might develop a uh, challenging rhythmical extracurricular activity. Mm -hmm. That's not going to change the fact that I'm going to stay in college. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is going to be all right, brother, because uh, nobody going to try to kick you out of college. It's the black college. It's going to be fine. I don't understand. When is going to be the day that we can have a college movie for black people where we get to act like fools? I'll tell you this right now. When a black man dresses like a woman in order to live in a sorority house, mm -hmm. we will have reached equality. That's right. Yes. Well, actually, that. No, that movie exists. Big Mama's House 3 starring Sir Martin Lawrence. <laughs> now pay attention. Now watch well, this. Then we have reached the mountaintop. All right. Now this is black folks. Now this is black folks. Look, this is us. Omega Pi Omega! Omega Pi Omega! Omega Pi Omega! Grammy, son. Yeah. Grammy, Grammy, Grammy. Yeah. Straight down the middle, son. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! Yeah, son. Oh, yeah. Yo, 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 hold up, man. Come on, wait. Wait, what? That's, that's this upside down, son. Did y'all catch it? I said this to a dude. Why the hell we the hell in college is getting branded when we ran from getting branded? We are crazy than a mother freaking. We wow. are do you catch the science? But yet we so pro black, we brag about Sigma Phi, Beta, Keta, Heta, Meta. But niggas, man, ran I'm so glad I didn't pledge. And we we <laughs> ran from getting pledged, like branded. Now we I almost did branded, and then on top of that's a Greek thing. It ain't an African thing. It's a Greek thing. Do y'all see? I it? Almost pledge. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Do you see why we where we at? No critical thinking. No common sense, no logic. That's why Franz Fanon said in his book, if you ever read the book, 
black skin, white mask. Frank Fanon said, all they asked of the black man is to be a good nigga and the rest will follow on its own. You better not be thinking. All we asked of the black man is to be a good nigga and the rest will follow on its own. <laughs> but yeah, real, real, let me say this, real, real, real philosophers, real philosophers are threats. Did you know that? Right. Real philosophers are threats. I'm a free thinker. I ask questions, but the Bible, if you're a good Christian, it says that too. The Bible says question all things and answer what is true. Maybe I need to stop asking questions then. Cause man, I don't be getting. I sometimes people be like, "This nigga asked too many questions." I don't know. <laughs> he asked too many questions. We don't want him. But how else are you gonna know? I don't know. No, Fox News, CNN, Roland Martin. <laughs> man, that's, that's some bias. That's some bias stuff, man. That's bias, right? So that's bias. But yet, I don't take nobody's sides. Have you ever noticed that? Right, right. Like I. I <laughs> I've seen I've seen videos and 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 pictures of you with like books all on the floor with you I going don't take nobody's side. I don't right, care. right. You go precept, you go pre you go precept upon precept. You know what I'm saying? Exactly how I was saying the freaking Bible. <laughs> I sat with millionaires and I don't care. Anybody know me, my tone has never changed about anybody I knew I've been in this industry with. My tone don't change with the lower people or the higher people. Sabir Bay is Sabir Bay all day. I am hip hop. I am the fifth element of hip hop. So I don't care how much money you got. You will be more inferior to me without me having no money. You'd be like this nigga. And I had that happen. Oh my God, he's in the room with us. Like, <laughs> That's why even my brother D.L. Hughley said, I would love to have you on my show, Sabir, but I don't know what you might say. <laughs> That's what he said. And I said, brother, I would never jeopardize your job. That's what I told him. I would never jeopardize your job because I know your paycheck determines the amount of truth you're willing to tell. My paycheck come from the people and, and stuff that I produce. That's where I get paid from is either I'm producing content, I'm producing literature, or y'all supporting me. That's how this works. You follow me? That's simple. It's not complicated. The prophet was always taken care of by his, by his people. Are you following me? The people. I'm going to show you something about philosophy. And I told you about look him up. I told you look up the Moorish philosopher. That's the Moorish philosopher Averroes. He was a Moorish philosopher. Nobody's Averroes. we're not telling our people this. We're not giving our people this information. None of your boule people are coming and giving you this information. And they told you after eight long centuries, this man is a still a threat. How could a dead man after eight centuries? What they say? About eight centuries. Yeah, eight centuries. How could a man after eight centuries be still a threat? Huh? Right here. You see that? How could this man after eight centuries be a threat? I'm explaining to you why. Okay? I'm explaining to y'all why. And they got a book on him? Oh, brother. Yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do. Here All right, tease me. There you go, right there. That's Averroes. And that's in Cordoba. Averroes. So I'm going to explain to you how he's a threat. That's, I'm going to show you one in Barcelona. That's Barcelona University, Averroes. Barcelona University. That's him. And that's him in Cordoba, Spain. So you know why he's a threat? You know why? Because energy never dies. <laughs> the energy never dies. Hey, I, can, I, can, I, can I throw something out there real quick? No doubt. Uh, um, if anybody is looking to find anything, any books that Sabir is talking about and you can't find them or you're trying to find like the first editions, I'm going to give y'all a little key. Go on abebooks.com. Abebooks.com? Abebooks.com. A-B-E-B-O-O-K-S.com. You will find so many first edition books that he's talking about. Too much reading, brother. <laughs> Listen, hey, <man. laughs> you know what Carnegie Woods said. You know what Carnegie Woods said in his book. It takes too much pain taking research. As a result, our lawyers are not interested in that sort of mental exercise. Carnegie Woods said this. He said it takes too much pain taking research. As a result, 
our lawyers are not interested in that sort of mental exercise. This is a mental thing, brother. Give thanks for that right. super chat. You know I mean? But it ain't got nothing to do with how many degrees you have, because if you sat back long enough and don't take Sabira Bay's word for it, how does it going to save us? I don't know what's going to save y'all. What you eat don't make me do to. I'm fine. <laughs> what any of the other people going to do? But I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this. Maybe, maybe it will help you some kind of way, some way in your life, if you get out your own way. Because I'm not in your way. Get out your own way. I'm fine. I smile every day. Even though I could be having a bad day, I still smile. Give thanks for a super chat, but it is what it is, man. But this is the thing. We make up so many excuses, brother. Well, if a person that the reason why you're not getting this information is because they're blocking real doctors and they blocking real historians. And that's what, that's what he said years ago. Carter G said that in his book. He said this. The man that started Negro Week, not Black History Month. He started Negro Week. If I believe right, they had a first edition of that on there too. Man, that book, man, shoot, they know how much the money that book cost. And I, if I believe right, it was probably like six or seven hundred dollars or something like that. I ain't even gonna or talk. Or probably even more than that. But I, I'd be it embarrassed. Is what it is. I'd be embarrassed how much I paid for it. But it's man. <laughs> this is a beautiful thing though. My stuff can get passed down to my daughter. Uh, right. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> So that work. She's rich. My daughter's wealthy already. Don't even know it. She don't even know. Because you know why? You know why? Because my daughter can sell those books later on in life. And then on top of it, her father highlighted every last one of them. And that's more money. You know the one thing I've learned from being with Karis One? I remember we went to this, this school, this high school in New York. And Karis One said this, right? He took a sheet of paper. We was at a PS. This is what they call it in New York. It's not like schools like there. It's called PS something. And I remember we was right. in the park, and Karis one and I was in the classroom, right? Karis uh -huh. one took out a, a sheet of paper, right? And wrote on it, KRS one. I need y'all to pay attention. He wrote KRS one. He said, You can put this in a frame or put it up somewhere and come back 30 or 40 years from now, and it'll be valuable. And you can sell it. just like those jerseys or those little baseball cards. Y'all notice that? I'd be like, nigga, right. what I was like, what the hell I would spend that much money for a baseball card for? Think about what I'm saying to you. So Paris right. said this to the student. So imagine what my daughter can do, but with the books that I highlight with my notes in it. So that's money if she chooses to sell them or she can sell portions of it. Are you following me? Portions of it and or copies of it. Because it will be hers, if that makes sense. It's not right. nice. So Ben Frank, I think it was Ben Franklin, said books are like capital. They last long as houses. Books are like capital that last long. He said a library book lasts, a library book is capital. It lasts long as a house. So imagine me marking my books up and my daughter has them. My daughter, are, she's being raised in this, my G. She's being right. raised into a point that you question people, not let's let people go along and get along. And then she can flip it if she chooses to go the opposite way and say, yeah, we're going to play this game. But see, this is the problem when people don't understand. And shout out to my brother, Eddie Griffin, because I always give Ed this, this props. I remember sitting at Eddie Griffin's house one day and we was having a conversation. And I asked Eddie Griffin, I said, Ed, won't you be my agent? This nigga said, I already advised you. He said, <laughs> This thing is, yo, I wish I had the video. I was with my brother Mulican, I think it was even Malcolm or Mulican. I was at because he don't let it, Eddie don't let anybody in his house. I'm gonna keep it real with you. He lives in Vegas. Anybody don't go to Eddie Griffin's house. You got to go through a couple of gates just to get to his house, straight up. So I'm in there and I'm, you know, I'm talking smack. We at two or three o'clock in the morning. We busting it up. You're like, you know, the, um, <laughs> the security guard, my man B, you know what I mean? We all in there. And I'm sitting and I'm like going into, they said, you got enough stuff. He said, you got enough stuff to make anything you need. He said, the problem with most of these people in this industry, they go in looking for something. So these rappers are going in to be famous or getting money, just like everybody in this industry or anybody that's working a nine to five. You're going to go play dress up and then trying to come and be conscious at the same time. The difference with me and most people who know that can flip it, because I can flip it to be the intellectual of the intellectual and sit there and act, you know, play the whole game that I can act gritty like a mother freaking. I can go up and down this mother freaking. 
And if you know anything about Karl Marx, if you ever study marksmanship, if you ever study marksmanship, and I could pull that book out too. If you I'm are still here, learning that. <laughs> if you up here, only way is what? It's down. If you down right. here, what was the name of that movie? The only way, so which way is up? You can go up. But if you're in that middle, you can go up and you can go down. So I'm fine. So if I'm broke, you would know I'm broke. If I'm doing bad, you would know I'm doing bad. But you know when a person up here is doing bad. Right. Are you are you following me? You right. can tell what a person up here is because now they don't have that status anymore. Come on, baby. It ain't right. rocket science. And this is why Danny Glover didn't, he was shocked when I told him about marksmanship. I sat with Danny Glover in Harlem one, one time and I talked about the Moors and it, then I, something came up about, he said, I'm a marksman. I said, well, I studied Karl Marx too. Danny was kind of thrown off. So I studied him. See, this is the thing that people understand. Like you got to pay attention. You got to pay attention. Our people keep trying to be coming up with the, uh, hanging up with the Joneses. And that was a song. That actually was a song. I'm just telling y'all my life experience, dude, is real, yo. I don't, I can have whatever I choose. Don't think for one minute that I can't. I can have whatever I want. It doesn't matter if you went to a pub, American public school, you were automatically colonized. How? Let me help you out, sister, because I don't think you're comprehending what I'm saying. You don't look like you're that young. You should understand this is simple. I can give you an eighth grade American civics book. What if I presented an eighth grade American civics book to you, Sister Caroline, when it says our republic can only work if citizens are willing to think for themselves and not simply accept what others tell them. If I can give you an eighth grade American civics book, not a public school, whatever, I mean, not a private school. This is a public school, eighth grade American civics book. Before I show you, I'm going to quote this again, and I need you to pay attention. Okay? I need her to pay attention. She a regular? She didn't seen this before because that she name looks familiar. Know, it, brother, but it's hard. <laughs> it's hard for some of our people, homie. It's hard. So I'm going to quote this one more time before I show it. Our republic can only work if citizens are willing to think for themselves and not simply accept what others tell them. Republic means the people, the people, the people. Go back and read the Constitution. And every state of the union guarantees a Republican form of government, not a democracy. Every state of the union guarantees a Republican form of government, not a democracy. Because democracy does not appear once in the Constitution. Do you see that? Democracy True. does not appear once, once in, in the Constitution. Constitution. So right. uh, keep going there. Cause I'm going to bring you right back to make you think. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. And I'm going to quote something else from the eighth grade civics book. It says facts, as you know, can also be proven true. They can be counted, measured and documented in some way. If, I'm going to say this again. Facts, as you know, not belief systems, facts, as you know. So I'm showing you facts, not severe based belief system. Believe me that someone told you that. Facts can be researched, analyzed, and proven. That's the difference. So if you did, and I had to admit this, I'm being real with y'all. Anybody, and she's been watching me for a long time. So when I used to, when I was in Spain, I said this. I sat on the bed. I thought I knew something. I said, damn, I'm colonized. I said that. But once you recognize that, when you recognize you got a problem, you do what? What do you do, people? What do you do when you, when you recognize the problem? You work to fix it. Okay, there you go. Do you sit back and keep saying it's the white man's? Or it's white supremacy, or you fix the problem. Shoot, I go out there and fix it like I've been doing lately. Like I've been doing lately. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to, I'm not trying. I am fixing it. So you yeah, got to not even do the research and try to keep fighting against you. And that's the problem. Yeah. Fighting against us instead of saying, well, how can I help you, brother? How can I we was get one of them Negroes? I was one of them Negroes at one time. <laughs> we in trouble, brother. We in I was trouble. one of them Negroes. We in trouble. And they say, Oh, you you against her? I'm not against. I was I, if I was against my people, I wouldn't even tell y'all. The people that's against you is the one that's not telling y'all this. I'm gonna repeat this again. The people that's against you are the ones that you are paying their taxes to. They're the ones that's against you. It's not me because I'm the one that's wasting my two hours with y'all. <laughs> So it's not that I'm against you and I'm not bragging what college I went to. I just want to say, just prove what I just said. I just gave you something simple, but bear with me one second. I'm going to help out. 
Did I make that clear, brother? Did I did I just make that clear about I'm not against you, that the people that's hiding it from you are against you, if that makes right. sense? Okay. I just want to make sure. Okay, so let me let me let me let me go back to the eighth grade civics book. This is a public school book. Facts, as you know, can prove true. They can be measured, counted, and documented in some way. Opinions are what people believe in, believe or think. So this is a public school system. So what is that they teaching? What is that they teaching? This is y'all can look this up. It's called American Civics. So they're not lying, but maybe you just little. Here's what I found. Oh, oh, serious talking. She's snitching, y'all. <laughs> Stereo over here, dry snitching. This is what we're dealing with. Education. That's what we, this is what we're with. Oh, somebody said, What is Marx Missit? Oh, you're not familiar with Karl Marx? Oh, sister, you got to oh, go. Again, and let me let me help my sister out, Natalie. Be not like the bird who sees the seed, but not the trap. <laughs> so you got to go watch the beginning. Be not like the bird who sees the seed, but not the trap. It's a trap. So that's American Civics book, right? This is also in the American Civics book. Who influences your thinking? And it tells you right here. Media. And most of these ideas are propaganda. Most of these ideas are propaganda. This is not private school information. This is public school. The problem is, again, like we kept trying to keep up with the Joneses. Oh, I'm, gonna, no. bro, I'm the first black to go to college. Nigga, we the first of everything. We hey, but Savir, <laughs> the other problem is, I'm going I'm to I'm be real. I'm going to be 100, though. The other problem is, I remember going to school, and uh, I, and, 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 and as soon as they say, okay, we're going to open up this history book, all right, go to chapter three. We get done with chapter three. Now you tell me to go to chapter six. We get done with chapter six. Now you want me to go back to chapter two. We get done with chapter two. Now we going to chapter 15. Why are we bouncing around this book like this? Hey, listen, I don't know, man. I'm trying to figure out why she keeps saying all these things. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm clarifying what I'm saying. She said, if you went to American public school, you were miseducated. The point is what? If I'm telling you this, what's the point of saying that? We know that's typical conversation. What you're saying to me, but I'm giving you the solution. That's typical. We know this. But when you know something, you do what? You do better. She just she's forgetting that part right there. Oh, my God. This is marksmanship, right? This is Karl Marx. Y'all should look it up. There's a, there's a documentary, right? And I see. If oh, I can, hell yeah. There's a documentary on Netflix. And they called Karl Marx a more. Read this book. They said Karl Marx looked like Frederick Douglass. Go Google it. Somebody Google that. Law be my witness. Google Karl Marx looking like a Moor and tell me what y'all got. We going, we yeah, that, that's in his book, though. That's in that book. It's, I think it says it like in the in the first part of it or something like that. that. How many people know that? Go look see, I don't look, like more. look, see, I only have it. See, see, I only have it on uh on uh audio. You know what I'm saying? Like I listen to it. I've been I've been listening to it every so once in a while while I'm at work. You know what I'm saying? Walking around and stuff on my headphones. But they say that in that book. No, but see, again, this is what Carl Woodson was saying in his books. He spoke about the black elite, and I'm gonna let y'all hear something before we do this, if y'all don't mind. Where we at? An hour and twenty eight minutes in it. I want you to hear. This is. Me. So I want you to hear what Carter G. Woodson said about the education of the Negro. Bear with me, okay? Turn away from the people in the churches and the gap between the mass. Listen, it's free to listen. Chapter six. The educated Negro leaves the masses. One of the most striking evidences of the failure of higher education among Negroes is their estrangement from the masses, the very people upon whom they must eventually count for carrying out a program of progress. Of this, the Negro churches supply the most.
Why don't you set up civics group, Caroline? Or why don't you help me, back me? Set up some civics groups. It's called sponsorship, if you don't understand what that is. Sponsorship works. So you ask me the question, I'm giving it to you. Maybe it may not be the answer that you want, but I'm giving you one. It's called sponsorship. How about that one? Sponsorship, and you can sponsor whatever. Sponsor ten thousand dollars, okay? And let's say I have a civics group in every state. Or go get. Let's have a debate with some of these attorneys and these educators, and we can get some money from them. Don't. I'm not insulting you. You see, you're talking about. I'm not insulting you. I just asked you. Asked me a question. I gave you some. I gave you an answer. That's your problem. It ain't me. So let's go. Striking illustration. The large majority of Negro communicants still belong to these churches. But the more education the Negroes undergo, the less comfort they seem to find in these evangelical groups. These churches do not measure up to the standard set by the university preachers of the northern centers of learning. Most Negroes returning as finished products from such institutions then are forever lost to the popular Negro churches. The unchurched of this class do not become members of such congregations, and those who have thus connected themselves remain chiefly for political or personal reasons and tend to become communicants in name only. The Negro church, however, although not a shadow of what it ought to be, is the great asset of the race. Now, this, Chapter 9. This is the one. Political Education Neglected. Some time ago, when Congressman Oscar de Priest was distributing by thousands copies of the Constitution of the United States, sir, chapter... Y'all know who Oscar de Priest is? Raise your hand. Yes, yeah, somebody said, if I wasn't educated, I wouldn't be on. Thank you very much. We say, if, if Sabir was miseducated, he wouldn't have so much knowledge. Thank you. Thank you very much. But look up Oscar de Priest. Let's go. Nine. Political education neglected. Some time ago, when Congressman Oscar de Priest was distributing by thousands copies of the Constitution of the United States, certain wiseacres were disposed to make fun of it. What purpose would such an act serve? These critics, however, probably did not know that thousands and thousands of Negro children in this country are not permitted to use school books in which are printed the Declaration of Independence. Ch did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear what he said? Let's go back to this one more time and you tell me what educated person is telling y'all this. Hold up. Chapter 9. Political Education Neglected. Let's go. Some time ago, when Congressman Oscar de Priest was distributing by thousands copies of the Constitution of the United States, certain wiseacres were disposed to make fun of it. What purpose would such an act serve? These critics, however, probably did not know that thousands and thousands of Negro children in this country are not permitted to use school books in which are printed the Declaration of Independence or the Constitution of the United States. Thomas Jefferson and James Madison are mentioned in their history as figures in politics rather than as expounders of liberty and freedom. These youths are not permitted to learn that Jefferson believed that government should derive its power from the consent of the governed. Not long ago, a measure was introduced in a certain state legislature to have the Constitution of the United States thus printed in school histories. But when the bill was about to pass, it was killed by someone who made the point that it would never do to have Negroes study the Constitution of the United States. If the Negroes were granted the opportunity to pursue this document, they might learn to contend for the rights therein guaranteed. The teaching of government, or the lack of such instruction then, must be made to conform to the policy of keeping the Negro in his place. Woo! In like manner, Let's the, te the teaching, of hi teaching of history, Let's thousands and thousands of Negro children in back. this country Listen. are not permitted to use school books in which are printed the Declaration of Independence or the Constitution of the United States. Let's go to quote. Thomas Jefferson and James Madison are mentioned in their history as figures in politics rather than as expounders of liberty and freedom. These youths are not permitted to learn that Jefferson believed that government should derive its power from the consent of the governed. Not long ago, not long ago a measure was introduced in a certain state legislators to have the Constitution, thou's printed in school history. 
But when the bill was about to pass, it was killed by someone who made it the point that it would never do to have the Negro study the Constitution of the United States. You think I wouldn't be on the panel busting it up off the top of my head? Bring every last one of your books and watch. A measure was introduced in a certain state legislature to have the Constitution of the United States thus printed in school histories. But when the bill was about to pass, it was killed by someone who made the point that it would never do to have Negroes study the Constitution of the United States. If the Negroes were granted the opportunity to pursue this document, they might learn to contend for the rights therein guaranteed. The teaching of government, or the lack of such instruction then, must be made to conform to the policy of keeping the Negro in his place. In like what did I tell you about Franz Fanon's book? And I'm not talking about no Moors. I'm not even mentioning anything about the Moors, have I? Have I mentioned anything about the Moors? It's called common sense, logic, critical thinking. So keep you in your place. And this is what Franz Fernand said in his book. All they ask of the black man is to be a good nigger and the rest will follow on its own. Franz Fernand's black skin, white mass. And yes, let's please get the likes up. And if you don't like what I'm saying, feel free to come on, it's open. Let me know. Sure. The teaching of history in the Negro area has had its political significance. Starting out after the Civil War, the opponents of freedom and social justice decided to work out a program which would enslave the Negro's mind in as much as the freedom of body had to be con Did y'all get that? Can I rewind that back one more time for y'all? Can I rewind that back? Can I, can I rewind it back? Listen to this. Pay attention. He did. It was well on against. Starting out after the Civil War, the opponents of freedom and social justice decided to work out a program which would enslave the Negro's mind in as much as the freedom of body had to be conceded. It was well understood that if by the teaching of history, the white man could be further assured of his superiority and the Negro could be made to feel that he had always been a failure and that the subjection of his will to some other race is necessary, the freedman then would still be a slave. If you can control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his action. When you determine what a man shall think, you do not have to concern yourself about what he will do. If you make a man feel that he is inferior, you do not have to compel him to accept an inferior status, for he will seek it himself. If you make a man think... What I tell y'all, France Fanon, and this is Carter G. Woodson, France Fanon said the oppressor will oppress the oppressed until the oppressed oppresses themselves. The oppressor will oppress the oppressed until the oppressed oppresses themselves. This is what we're dealing with. It ain't white supremacy. It's not white supremacy. And this is why they keep pushing this out here to y'all. Do y'all get it yet? That's why. That's why they get about a million views on their videos because it feels good. Malcolm X told you about the feel good session. Malcolm told you about the feel good session. Malcolm told you it feels good. I got to say it's white supremacy, brother. We'll get a lot of hits because you know what? The white man did it. He is justly an outcast. You do not have to order him to the back door. He will go without being told. And if there is no back door, his very nature will demand one. God this dang. program, so popular immediately after the Civil War, was not new. But after this upheaval, yes, it is, its Todd. execution received a new stimulus. History is written elsewhere. But niggas getting stimulus checks. For the former slave area were discarded. And new treatments of local and national history in conformity Ooh. with the recrudescent propaganda were produced to give whites and blacks the biased point of view of the development of the nation and the relations of the races. Special treatments of the Reconstruction period were produced in apparently scientific form by propagandists who went into the first graduate schools of the East to learn modern historiography about half a century ago. Having the stamp of science, the thought of these polemics was accepted in all seats of learning. These rewriters of history fearlessly contended that slavery was a benevolent institution. The masters loved their slaves and treated them humanely. The abolitionists meddled with the institution which the masters eventually would have modified. The Civil War brought about by fanatics like William Lloyd Garrison. The Civil War was brought about by fanatics. Fanatics are like people going into the Capitol, people are like, you know, going into the store. Like, that's how you change it. That's how you change it. 
And yes, it is about the Moors, but I don't want to bring the Moors in it because what happened, that's the mindset of our people. That's not what my show is about. My show is for anybody because you have some fanatic ass Moors out here too. And that's not my conversation this evening. So don't come on with that. I don't even want to hear it. Okay. That's not period. All right. I don't want to hear nothing about nobody's personal. I'm paying attention to what I'm saying to you. This is for everybody. Peace and love. Peace, peace. You there? I think y'all got to unmute your mics. I think you have to unmute your mics. I don't know what's going on. I can't do it on this end. All right. I'm still here. I'm still here. All right. So you got to you got to mute your mic. Depressed, you got to mute your mic. Can you hear? I'll mute your mic. I don't know what's going on. I can't hear him, man. I, I can't know. hear him either. Can you hear know. us, bro? I couldn't hear him, man. I ain't, Listen, man, I ain't got time. But that book was called, this is the book. And he has another one right after that. Peace, peace, peace. Peace, peace. You hear us? Peace, family. Can you hear yeah. me? Yeah, we can hear you. We can oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> we kept no, saying No, it's the connection is bad. Oh, oh yours, yours must be lagging a little bit. The white man is doing it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> is it lag? Is you are you there? Yo, dude, this is it's crazy. Hey, it's lagging big time. We can't hear can you. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, yeah, but we, we can't, can't hear you. Like, talk. But can you hear us? Yes, I can hear I can hear you now. You can hear us okay. now. Yeah, but it's like right. the picture is real choppy. Really? I was just wanting to um, just add to your thing. Wow. Like, um, that's exactly the point. You, 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 you made a super valid point the other day when you touched on like learning and organizing is something that we've been doing actually for decades. It's really about executing right now. So if any of the stuff that I've been doing with the police and with the courts and with the jail, it's been an example of that. Like I've been putting it all to the test in the restaurants, whether it's the, the courthouse, whether it's the police station, whether it's Panera Bread, make me wear this mask or make me do this. And, um, you know, I have two uh, cases that are done right now just to prove the point that Sabir is saying right now. Like you can't stop a person from practicing their constitutional rights and, you um, Use just use the Constitution and case law. You don't even have to get complicated. The, the to so the the claim of trying to exercise the practice of a constitutional right cannot be uh, turned into uh, um, a crime and a fee placed on it. If so, the person has the ability to engage in that act with impunity. See, these are the facts that again, like when Sabir brings up stuff. Nobody wants to touch on these simple, basic facts. And I want to give credit and, and thanks right now because I wouldn't have any of this information. All I did is, is exactly what he said. So he said, do this. So literally, I got all of my information from Moors. I found this one really fantastic video that had a lot of case law. And I said, I wanted to grab all this case law. So I'm going to just tell you what I did. I stopped it and I screenshotted everything. Then I printed them all off. Then I cross-referenced. And then I looked at the full case law, but I bring I, I studied them so many times now to where I have them memorized in my head. So if you want to have a shield and a sword, it would be a constitution and case law. You don't even have to really go to the piece. If you really want to obliterate them and make and make yourself like me and not even be allowed in the courtroom no more, start speaking more stuff. That's why they won't even allow me in there. I did some more homework on that. And that's why, like, if you look at what I said and then what I and then what happened, like my minutes, 
You can look at my stuff in real time. They don't want a Moore's minutes repeated ever. I see in a pattern for every Moore that has said the Moore stuff, they go and rip the minutes out because I can tell you exactly what they said. The, the, the words that a Moore can say in court are so disruptive to the system, it would crumble it. Like when they, I only did it for traffic one day and everybody for the rest of the day had to be dismissed. And that was traffic court. Mm -hmm. I just beat two felonies. Now, that's that's not to say go commit crimes, because that's exactly. the other way they want to spend exactly. more. Exactly. You know stuff so you can commit crimes. No, I know stuff so I can practice my human rights and, that's and what know I that you can't you uh, punish me because of those. And, that, and that's what I tell people. And yes, brother, this is the thing. Because we're not being taught civics. They're not. You have a legislative. Um, you have, you have a legislative court and a constitutional court. You have two different courts, and I keep telling people and keep telling more is this. You have a legislative court, even court, it's a tribunal, <laughs> constitutional court. The courts that we're operating in are not constitutional courts. They're legislative created courts, and this is what people have to understand. Again, I know these attorneys' games, G. I don't listen. I know that that's why they don't want to sit with me. That's why when I say, well, if you know some attorney, let's have an open dialogue. They got the money. They've been ripping people off. Do you dislike attorneys up here? No, no, it's not about that. It's that I, I'm against fuckery. That's what I'm against. I'm not for that because I see too many people get hurt behind this. And they what they do is they take brothers like that hip hop artist and exploit him and say, this is what these niggas like. So everybody got a locks in their hair. And what we do and what we do is co-sign the nonsense. That's why I'm very careful about what I'm saying. And I don't talk about this Moore's information because some Moore's and I'm very careful when I'm on these feeds because Moore's are do shit and abuse it. And then turn around and say, well, I'm going to deal with the treaty. I don't talk like that. That's not my conversation. Saber Bay don't go back and forth in court. I have time to travel. I roll. I ain't got time for the nonsense. I'm out of here. You follow me? So I don't do stuff like that. I don't put myself in certain positions or certain places. I got to sit up here and fight. Oh, my God. No, I'm not going to do that, my G. But I'm telling you all how this game is being played. And I know what's going on with some of these moors. They say, oh, brother, the treaty is this. I don't talk about the treaty. Most of these moors don't even understand. If they read the language of treaties, those are not the courtrooms. You take a treaty into the courtroom. And the treaty does not have nothing to do with you. And rather you moors believe it or not, it don't. You have to know how deep this thing go, man. That's how deep it go. This thing is deep. And so teach the basic people how to defend the rights that they believe they have. Because we, a lot of us believe that we have rights. So act upon it. I'm not a politician. I don't do that. But my thing is like, listen, if you want to go toe to toe with me, let's get it on the radio or TV. Let's go. I'm fine with that. But I'm not going to talk about no sovereignty, no more sovereignty. I'm not going to talk about no white man is the devil. I'm not going to talk about no white supremacy. That's not my conversation. My conversation is going to be strictly into the law. And if you want to go into historical stuff, then we can bust it up on historical stuff. And that's just what it is. I'm not going to go and say, well, because I'm a more unprotected behind that. No, I don't do that. No, I don't do that. I don't do that. I'm not going to do that because that's not true. Period. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. What happens in one state may not happen in another state. I've been in almost every state and I probably lived in about five states. So what happened in one particular state is not going to happen in this state. When I was living in Philadelphia, California laws are totally different than Philadelphia laws. Philadelphia laws are different than Jersey laws. And if you don't have every last one of their books or any of their laws, you're done. Because I'm going to tell you, California has a total different law. Their motor vehicle law, if you get caught in a car with drugs, or any kind of alcohol, it's $10,000. I've been living in LA for 11 years. How do I know? Wait a minute, let me prove my point. Let me prove my point to show y'all what's going on. And that's for you weed smokers too, because I don't smoke or do drugs. But let me help you weed smokers out. So here, yeah. it's telling the freaking truth. Bruh. I caught a DUI, I caught a DUI December, Fifth, two thousand ten. No, December December fifth, two thousand eight. Matter of fact, my case did not finish until April two thousand ten, and I still lost the case because of my bullcrap attorney that I so called had. They deal makers. They deal makers. That's what they are, and that's why they cost me. 
It cost me eight grand. It cost me eight grand mm. on top of the twenty five hundred for my dog on attorney. On top of doing uh, ten days worth of community service. Wow. That's and I had a gov. Hold on, check this out. I had a government job. I lost that, and I've been working for pennies ever since. That's crazy. But nobody would give me 2500 straight up like that for me to even talk to you about it. See how crazy this is? But see, this is the thing with a lot of people, brother. They will come to me when they get burnt or Sabir is doing this for me. No, nigga, I got children. I got responsibility. I got stuff I'm doing. People right. say, nigga, I, 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 you pay me for my time. The same way you pay a sports player for their time, you're going to pay me for my time. And that's just what it is. And I'm not saying 2500 I'm worth it. But I'm telling you what's going on. So each state is totally different. Here it is. I'm going to show you California. I'm going to read it to y'all. Driving under the influence of blood alcohol. And this is out of my motor vehicle law book. And you can see how it's highlighted. <laughs> it is unlawful for a person, right? For a person who is under the influence of, influence of drug, weed is drug, point blank, right? To drive a vehicle. It is unlawful for a person who is under the combined influence of alcohol, beverage, and drug to drive a car. This is the California Motor Vehicle Law Book, right? There. I got Pennsylvania's too, and I have New Jersey, which is Title 39. And if you think I'm lying, you can look up Title 39. You're going to see the Cali I mean, New Jersey's, and this is California. And I'm going to give you the section. Let's see, the attorneys ain't going to tell you this, but they're going to charge you $10,000. Wait a minute, hold up one second. But I can smoke weed. They made it legal. But you still can't drive in the car, nigga. Do you understand? They smell the weed. It's called right. weed suspicion. They could pull you over. And that's why they probably pull their young rapper over. We can smell the weed. Oh, they're going to get this. They probably smell like weed when they get off the airplane. Think about it. Man, Think that case it. right there, that case is crazy, though. <laughs> it's, not crazy. it's not crazy. But I'm explaining to you why that happened. I'm explaining to you why. Because what they do is they watch everybody's video. They watching these dudes. They watch them. They set themselves up. Rather caffeine is and nicotine is a drug. It doesn't matter. It's not illegal to drink coffee in a car. Do you get it? It's not illegal to drink coffee in a car. Niggas always trying to make up something. You're not hearing what I'm saying. I don't smoke weed, so I'm fine. I'm not the one that's going to get the ten thousand dollars. Going to say, well, I'm going to do. I'm going to be claiming more, and I'm going to get out of it. <laughs> This is the problem. You're not going to get have coffee and turn around and say, yeah, well, you know, it's the setup. This is why I said be not like the bird who sees the sea, but not the trap. The trap is there. So now what they do is they look at every last one of us with locks and think we smoke weed. Do you know when I was going to Mexico one day, brother, what happened to me? My sister Karen was with me. I went into Tijuana. I, w I walked across the border. To Tijuana, right? As I'm walking across the border, hold up. I'm walking across the border. The dude pulled me over. The, you know, the Mexican dude. He had the, you know, the shotgun, right? Hold up a second. He pulled me over and he kept saying, he did like this. He was pulling at his hair. Like he was going like this, right? Like to come. I'm like, nigga, what? You know me, I'm getting my attitude now. I'm like, this is my first time going to Mexico. I walked across the border in Tijuana because it's not too far from where I live at, right? So I'm walking across the border, and anybody knows exactly what I'm talking about. You can walk across the border to go into Tijuana, right? So he's doing like this, and he's pulling his, like, act like he's pulling hair. And tell, like, like to say, where's the weed at? No lie. Y'all be my witness. He, he, went, he went in my pocket. He told me to take everything out of my pocket. Now, mind you, my sister Karen tell me, Chill out, Sabir. Don't you know? Don't start tripping because I, I snap. I have, a, I have a straight Philly attitude. That's just what it is. Like nigga, like like I told you earlier, I, I do that. I have another side. I'm a Gemini, nigga. What? So I'm on that. So she's telling me, don't do anything. Just you know, do what he says, right? This nigga had the, you know, because they keep the joints with them. They ain't got the guns like the, the, you know. So it's like three of them. They told me to take everything out my pocket. And he said, where's the weed at? I said, nigga, I don't smoke weed. Just like that. <laughs> I'm like on that. Shit. I said, nigga. I'm like, nigga, I don't smoke weed. Like, straight up, dude. He pulled, yo, no lie. Do I have it with me? He started pulling stones out my pocket. Hold up. Just like this. 
I got a bunch of stones in my pocket. So I started, he, he, he was pulling stones in my pocket and ain't find no weed. No lie, this has happened. So I, I'm literally like laughing like after I got past the border. So I'm, I'm in Tijuana. So Karen don't know, she's oblivious to what Yayo is, right? She said, the dude said, yo, I got that Yayo. Now, my, I want you to, I want you to, this was a couple of years ago, but I still went there, right? No lie. So she said, the dude said, yo, I got the Yayo. So she said, what's Yayo? <laughs> Now this is when the street park comes in. This is when the street park comes in. I said, oh, Yayo is Coke. <laughs> Hold up. I said, I said, Karen, you ever see Scarface? When he say, Chi Chi, get the Yayo. You ever see that part where he was like, Chi Chi, get the Yayo when he had to shoot out? She said, oh, that's what that <laughs> He said, that's what that meant. So imagine if a person don't know what the hell is going on. It's crazy. So what they see us as niggas carrying, that's why, again, the, the media makes us criminals, man. And what we do is we prove them right. And that's what Heavy D was saying. I prove them wrong, but right is what you're proving them. So they don't want somebody that did not go to a college that can go toe to toe with any of your attorneys or any of your politicians toe to toe. I will go first. Let them go first and I will go last. I ain't got to bring up no religion. I'm not going to bring up no mores. I'm going to go. Then I'll bring the mores in later once I do that. And that's how you demonstrate. That's how you. It ain't about you going into a courtroom because the courtroom is not the place you want to be battling at. G. The battle is out here on the streets for the people. That's the battle. The battle is not in the courtroom. How many times you see stuff on TV now? They got this fake court TV stuff out now. But the TV, I told you before, Malcolm said the most powerful tool in our hands is that press. They can make you love who you hate and hate who you love. That's the game that's being played. So all the way down from the Breakfast Club to Vlad, they all know this. That's why they exploit you. That's why Vlad ping people on there to make people go against each other, do gossip. They don't want to have no real conversation on no kind of platform. That's the deal, because automatically I would tell them to bring all their books from the Declaration of Independence to the Bill of Rights, to the Human Rights, to the Constitution, to your Corpus Juris Secondum, to your American Juris Prudence, to your words and phrases, to your Black Slaw, your Ballantines, your Black Stone, your Booby Ears, your Purdens, whatever book you want to bring, bring. And I guarantee I can quote what's inside of it and I will comprehend and break it down for you. That's not what they want. What school did Sabir Bey go to? How did he know this? I didn't go to their college, but I visited the colleges. This is game. So I don't condemn the brothers on the street. I know how they have been programmed. And this is why I'm telling even with my son, my son, before he got killed, told me this. He was coming around to this. He said, Dad, if these so-called black leaders are doing things that's wrong, why the hell should we follow any of these people? That's what he told me. Why should I listen to them? My son looked up to me. He just like as I looked up to my father, raising nine of us in a household with an eighth grade education and wasn't working for nobody. That's who I look up to. And that's the only man that I would ever praise as walking this earth and passed away. Rest in peace by being with my mother for 53 years and nine children in the same household with an eighth grade education and taking care of all of us and didn't want for nothing. That's the father I'm talking about. That's my father. So I don't worship no man and don't have to say no man's name to get a get a bunch of views and a bunch of hits like most people. That's not what Sabir Bey do, because that's what they do. That is the only man I look up to will be my father. That's it. Period. Period. That's it. My father was a man, man. And he built houses. He built houses. He didn't purchase. He was buying. My father was the type of person that said, if you can't afford it, don't get it. So the problems that we have is nobody else's problem, but our problems. Nobody else's problem, but ours. We trying to keep up with the Joneses. I don't have a car note. I don't have no debt for nobody. I don't owe debt on nothing, no house car note, nothing. I've never had credit on none of that because I understood credit. My father told us that if you can't afford it, don't buy it. You follow me? 
My father said, if you cannot afford it, don't buy it. That's how he raised us. So I don't have student loans and trying to get out of student loans. I don't have a car note and they repossessed it because I want we went through a depression or whatever we're going through. I don't have that. I can jump on a plane and be like, I'm out of here, G. And my daughter and children get taken care of very well. That's what you want to leave back here. That's what my father left us. So I don't owe school loans, student loans. I don't. Niggas over here talking about, oh, I owe a student loans. But if you had common sense, if you had common sense, you would know the banks didn't never loan you no money if you had common sense. You think about it. But see, they don't want y'all to think like this. They don't want you to think like this. The banks never loaned you no money, my G. We need people to know the codes. Yes, but what codes? Purdons? United States codes? Which one are we talking about, Sister Caroline? United States codes? How many of the codes do you know? Because if you look up United States codes, sub title 18, 2331, or title 18, 1341. Let me help you out, sister. What code? Are you talking about this code? We can't just throw out and say codes. Let me help you out. You don't have to believe me on here, y'all. I want y'all to go there right now. Go there right now. Okay, give me one second. I can break every last code down out here. So when we talk about codes, and that code I just posted up there is mail fraud. United States codes, that's what that is. Title 18, we can go into domestic terrorism also. 2331. I'm going to help you out. So are these the codes that you're referring to? Let me help you out. Give me one second. Are those the codes you're talking about? Are those the codes? Because that's the code, if you don't know that or not. Those are codes. Right there. Those are codes. Did you get it? Did y'all look it up? So when you want to show somebody something, that's what you show them. Don't say know the codes and don't show the codes or what the codes mean. That code I just posted up there is domestic terrorism, which they doing on the people every day. It's a violation of the United States laws in any state. The United States laws in any state. That's what that code is. So we're talking about codes. That's the codes. Again, the reason why they don't want to talk to me, brother, is because I can spit this and tell you exactly what's inside those things. I can tell you what's in there. So when people talk about why I just don't have that many views, because... Some of these conscious cats are petrified like a mother freaking to have this information out here. Oh, no, we can't have Sabir Bay talking about that one. We got a copy of what he said. We got a copy of what he said. But we're going to take a quick break. Let's go. I got a couple of minutes, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. You got no time to joke and play because knowledge reigns supreme. While others play that game for pain, their concepts bring you stress and strain. But blessed are those that know my name. It's knowledge reigns supreme. Why do I call myself God when I'm speaking? People always ask me this question when I'm teaching. What you gotta understand is that Christ don't exist. The only existence is God consciousness. And God consciousness is what exists is Chris. The ego tells you that you're doing all this. You will miss a, a miss a professional lyricist. I get rid of this forever and only gets better. Chris from the universe, you can never sever. Cause there is no Chris, only the universe remember. Going a little deeper, you can check me. The whole campaign is about living life but don't respect me, respect the universe is her first that I disperse And free you from the curse of the Spains The French, Portuguese, and English Check me as I sing it, science of mine I'm living life correct You say the Spanish or the what? But don't respect me, respect the universe is her first that I disperse And free you from the curse of the Spanish The French, Portuguese, and English Check me as I sing it, science of mine I bring this The word I bring to you today Is not a train supreme you got no time to joke and play, cause knowledge reigns supreme. While others play that game for fame, the concepts bring you stress and strain. But bless the those that know my name, cause knowledge reigns supreme. I'll bring you out the cave and change how you behave. <laughs> 
particles and waves. Dimension, your visual extension is root by perception. Got in your every direction. If you really want money, your mentality must switch. If you really want to be rich, you gotta act like you're rich. You can't act like a bitch. If you want to be a woman, you can't get the gravy if you're sitting around lazy. You can't be in the hustle if you ain't looking for trouble. You can't be single if you know you barely double. You can do it, yeah. We can do it, yeah. You can do it, yeah. We can do it, yeah. We the best. Don't worry about the card they dealt ya. It's real. I perceive myself out the shelter. Every day and night, seeing myself on the mic. Now it's tight, getting paid right for my mental struggle. You can't be single if you know you barely double. You can do it, yeah. We can do it, yeah. You can do it, yeah. We can do it, yeah. We the best. Don't worry about the card they dealt ya. It's real. I perceive myself out the shelter. Every day and night, seeing myself on the mic. Now it's tight, getting paid right for my mental sight. He was really in the shelf, and his mother told him his freedom was between two library doors. The Not door to the library. That's what his mother told him his freedom was. Read. Go read. He was in the shelf. What you tell me? The word I bring to you today is knowledge reign supreme. You got to make the best. It's knowledge reign supreme. But I just play that game for fame. The concepts bring you stress and strain. But bless all those that know my name. It's knowledge reign supreme. Uh, one, two. My man Chris, with the style, you do it like this. How to forget it, the culture that's embedded, check it. It's an identity, but people really want to get it. But Chris won't let it, the same thing that I you said about it. My hair is dreaded, but if I guess you must respect it. We must direct it, and use it positively, so be skeptics. Cause we're not mathematics, like me, I said it. I'm about to shed it, why don't you check me with your credit? You still don't get it, you just did like this. He said, check me like you check your credit, hold up. he said the poppy rock is more synthetic. <laughs> the total body is ultra magnetic. Ah. Damn. There's no need to be afraid. Open your mind. Like that. Do your knowledge. Like that. Do your knowledge. Like that. Like that. Stop studying your knowledge. And do your knowledge. Did it like that. We did it like that. We did it like that. Like that. We did it like that. You don't understand what hip hop is, man. Hey, that's crazy. The first form of music, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, as far as like rap music, what, what, what for me was hip hop. You know what I'm saying? As far as listening to uh, uh, Far Side, uh, De La Soul, uh, KRS One, KRS One, uh, Leaders of the New School. Like, I, I started off on that crap, but I'm from the West Coast, though. No doubt, it don't matter. Shoot, I was I, I just you know my West Coast joint was N.W.A. because I was like they the dude that said F the I said nigga these niggas said F the police. I'm like nigga, I'm dead. What's up? <laughs> you know you gotta remember, I, man, I was in the streets at that time. So niggas, we used to get out on the corner, just pump up the car, be like, F, and that was what we had cassette tapes. F the police and ran said it with authority because the niggas on the street is the majority of gang. Whoever I'm fucking. And I got a motherfucking weapon that's kept in a stash spot for the so-called law. Ran with a nigga that you never saw. What? Man, that was my job. You crazy? Dude. Dude. 
That's what it's about, fam. Peace, sister. Hold on, I got to play something for you. Let me let you hear. You know who Wise Intelligence is, right? Yeah. Yeah. I want you to hear something. What? What up? I want y'all. Who? How many people know who Wise Intelligence is? Poor White's teachers. We had some fun. Yes, you got to spell hip hop the right way. Capital H, small I P. Capital H O P. Hip hop. Capital H I P. Capital H O P. That's true hip hop, and it comes from a Wolof language. Wolof in West Africa. Wolof. So, how many people know who Wise Intelligence is? Come on. Let me let me let me show you what Wise did. Uh, when was this? A couple of days ago? The 25th of March. This is the 25th of March, 2021. Listen to what Wise Intelligence said about KRS One. Listen up. <laughs> you know, <laughs> elementary, you know, the quote KRS One, you know, uh, you know, we 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 had the mindset to teach something, you know, so that's just what it was. You know. When you bring up KRS One and on uh, Styles Drop Lessons taught, you have to apply all means necessary uh, sample in there where you sample his voice and stuff. So what what significance did KRS One have for you as a person and as an artist? Man, listen, KRS One. Karis One was, is, you know, like you said, Karis One is the teacher. You know, Karis One is, you know, my top five MCs, no particular order. You know, Karis One is, is Karis One. You know what I mean? It's, you know, Karis One is, is the guy. You know, um, but Karis One influence is, is great honestly i mean everything that krs1 did we we bumped it you know uh from from bridges over to today you know his entire body of work you know um is is inspiring it's and it's it's in it's it's informing is it can guide you you know especially if you're an mc you you want to if you want to learn how to MC you want to know what an MC should consist of, Karis one, hands down. Uh, I you agree wholeheartedly. Yeah, he check off all the boxes. Karis one checks off all the boxes. You know, B boy check. <laughs> you know, use all of it. You know, flow check, delivery check, sub subject matter check. You know, substance check, battle check. You know, he checks off all the boxes, you know. You're making me think of, remember on uh, Kumo D, how you like me now, he had the report card on. on yeah, the yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. And, yeah. And his uh, stage show is pretty much one of the best. Check, 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 check. <laughs> all the checks on the live performance, you know. He, he just had it all. Karis has it all. He has everything that an MC should have. Do you understand you know? what's going and, on? And then so. Right. Do y'all understand okay. the science so of this, man? Listen, with, uh, I don't think y'all understand this, man. Y'all got to, I'm talking to you young cats that don't understand the hip hop game for what it is. Y'all don't understand how this works, baby. So again, we are the people that can make the changes. We, yes, hands down, Karis One would destroy any of these dudes. Hands down, performance, the whole nine yards. He's that dude. Don't get mad. It is what it is. So this is why. Yeah, he checked off the whole goddamn box. We're going to have some fun. So I'm going to rock out with y'all a little bit more. If y'all want to come on the feed, come on. I'm going to give y'all. How many of y'all heard Criminal Minded before? How many of y'all heard Criminal Minded? Karis One is a, they don't, you notice none of these battle, none of these dudes that ever wanted to battle Karis One. Have y'all noticed that? How many y'all heard Criminal Minded? They never battled Eminem. They never want to battle LL Cool J. Or you never want to battle a Karis One. Have y'all noticed any of these rappers don't do that? 
Did y'all see? Yeah, I saw that. That's irrelevant subject to me, brother. That's a condition. A father and son shooting each other. That's a condition. Okay. So none of them want to battle Travis one. They don't even want to battle Eminem. I like him. So <laughs> yeah, Eminem was a beast, dude. I would keep it real. Think about it. Yes, brother J too, but brother J is not out there like Carol one constantly. Yes, brother. Brother J, right? Oh, Nelly tried. He destroyed Nelly's whole career. Nelly ain't been right since. Nelly tried against who? Karis One. He did. You never heard that, John? Oh, we gonna have some fun, y'all. I'm gonna let you I hear. Might miss, I might oh. have missed that one. Oh no, nah, we gonna have some fun. I'm gonna let you hear this one right here, though. Criminal minded. This is the, this is the, the remake of Criminal Minded. Boogie Down Productions. With Premiere, we getting paid. Y'all write the wackest songs. I should be better. Remember, you act up, you will not win. Cause then I'll begin to smash you with rhyming, rhyming, rhyming. Criminal minded, this is the jump off. My first leg laugh, I can pop in a pump off. Yo, come here, why these rappers so soft? They corny ass raps be making me doze off. You know, I get the whole house open. Got the whole east, west, north, south open. I ain't joking. You know how many times I spit rhymes and left rappers with their mouth open? Y'all need to fall back. The hip hop you got in you now, I is called that. I spit a raw rap, piece of raw rap, ten more rap. Where the tour's at, cause the world is so hood You must always be ready to let it blow oh, 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 I'd rather talk about peas, but these rappers won't let me So here we go I'd rather mind my business, but these rappers think they super bad That's when they get smothered, choked, and dead okay. I bought another jag Cause when I spit lyrics, I step farther like your other dad One, two, two, one, two, two I stay true, I'm a gangstar Shout out to Primo I train like choo choo Y'all rappers rap crap bullshit doo doo. Who knew? I don't compare to you. Look at my nose. I even take in more air than you. I'm more aware than you when I spit it. I built this hip hop matrix to program you in it. I would tell you it's gonna happen in summer, but I'm a general. I don't talk to runners. Y'all just rapping and rapping shitty. So when you talk about battle, I get giddy. Nelly piece for you. So this is the original criminal minded that was out. What is he saying, dude? Go to my YouTube channel. Check out Karis One and I about two weeks ago. Went to Beer Bay, Karis One. Go check out the interview I did with Karis One two weeks ago. He always comes when I call him. Shout out to Chris. Fire. This is the original. The original from the 80s. Where 
original, original. <laughs> Classes in session, so you can stop resting. This is a cat or a real job memo. See, I am a professional. This is not a demo. In fact, we're gonna lecture. Damn, Chris been rocking it over 30 something, 35, 40 years. Damn, come on, man. Lecture, sort of a poetic and rhythm like master. Listen, I'm not dissing, but there's something that can listen. Maybe you should touch reality. Start watching for beats with plenty bass and lyrics that enhance. If this meaning doesn't manifest, put it to rest. I am a poet. You try to show it, yeah, blow it. It takes concentration for French communication. I hip hop is That is to see without speaking. Take off your coat, take notes. I am teaching the class I'm at a school. Cause you need schooling. I am not a king or queen, I'm not ruling. This is an introduction to poetry, a small dedication to those that might know of no, me. They might yeah. know of you. Yeah, and maybe you're gay, but one thing's for sure, neither one of y'all can hang. Cause you I'm at the arrow. It's got the crossbow. Say something now. Your toe. You seem to be the type that only understand the annihilation and destruction of the next man. That's not poetry, that is insanity. It's simply fantasy, far from reality. Poetry is the I had to give these young cats who hit the old tracks. So you wanted to hear the Joe and Nelly diss. Oh, we can bring it all the way up into 2021. So go to my, yes, rest in peace, Scott LaRock. So two weeks ago, I had Chris on. And if you go back, you will always see me make me with Carlos Run, the legend. But Check it out. Jerome said, Jack, Jack, a spade. What up, G? Jerome, what's good, homie? That's my brother that sit outside. Oh, my, my, I don't like calling home, but that's my dude. All right? But this is the Nelly disc right here. Hold up. Watch this. Somebody said, no, somebody said it was that I'm number one song. No, I'm great. We're going to help you out. All right. Me I suggest you chill. You don't really want it. Number one, I'm you don't really want it. The prophecy is fulfilled. You don't really want it. KRS in the street. You don't really want it. I drop the broad speed. You don't really want it. No, I guess he you don't really want it. Play a face to see. Nice try, Nelly. I don't mean to be bold, but put that hot in her bullshit on hold. And let's get down to the facts of the matter. In the dictionary under whack rap, you the rapper. Simply because you're lacking the spectacular vernacular and hip hop character seems to be in vacuum. Be the that you're truly amateur. Ask me the, how does it feel to have the whole world laughing at you? You just too stupid to see. I was made on the street, you was made on MTV. How you gonna talk about my nose to attack me when you steady guzzling? The pills for your acne. My nose comes Ooh. from my hands. Your acne comes from you eating the wrong thing. Your words don't make me hurt, they make me work. You'll hurt when you find this you getting dirty. I tell you, it don't take me to say, don't buy your album. Street cats ain't buying it anyway. You telling me, make up my mind. Yet on your album, you don't know if you want to say or wrong. My rhyme still be ill. You don't really want it. Oh, it's just scared. They will get all of it. They're going to get all of it, bro. Watch the prophecy. Yay, I ain't never heard this. I drop the broad speed. You don't really want it. No, I just eat. You don't really want it. Play a face to feet. You trying to diss me? How? If you wasn't for the true school, your bitch ass wouldn't be here now. Blah, blah. Ooh. So you the gate. Well, I'm going to have to drown you kids like Angie and Yates. You can't handle a break. I'm a you a big lighter. You think I'm cocky because you a dick rider. I spit tight. Like all the rest, I'm not a player, but I did stay in a holiday in express. So nevertheless, I'm a teacher, teacher, but with them thugs issue, you, you'll be screaming, mama, yeah, yeah. You never seen me? You don't know what I bring? I'm all about the unity of myths and myths. You all about grabbing money and gifts and assistance. Take your ass back to TV land and let this be a lesson for TV man. My rhymes still be ill. You don't really want it. I suggest you chill. You don't really want it. Number one, I'm still. You don't really want it. The prophecy is fulfilled. You don't really want it. KRS in the street. You don't really we ain't gotta watch this. We gonna roll from Crystal. Watch this. No ice, just heat. You just when I thought I could do my gospel and become an apostle, I got a hole and get hostile. I don't mean to knock on that beat, but ain't you that MTV house nigga with a smile like jelly? I'm a dude who's writing books for the art. I know what you said on BET's when I'm sitting in park, but what you don't know is right around the corner on third. I hold a destiny, and no, it's not a bird. You sound absurd. 
you gonna bring me back? I taught all year round to spot me. Ooh, he taught. You chill with him, sink, I chill with him, I be at my rhyme, still be ill. You don't really want it. I suggest you chill. You don't really want it. Number one, I'm still. You don't really want it. The prophecy is fulfilled. You don't really want it. KRS in the sh- Now I'm gonna take you four years, four years ago. I'm trying to what show made, why these kids what, battle Chris. What made him decide to do that? Like niggas be committing suicide. Chris ain't that dude. He will destroy these dudes. I'm gonna give you one. Remember MC Shan? The bridge is over. Yeah. South Bronx. Yeah, the bit. Yeah. That's four years ago. Four years ago. You said we never battled face to face. Four years ago. So I never really took him out. We will open up a cipher right down here. Four years ago. And I'm gonna do this song called Temple but you see him in the cypher, he's not on the stage. That's what hip hop is about. These niggas be on stages. Look. What you saying, my dude, you done. Dudes that never battle when I see one. Dudes that are not in seeds, they always want to be one. No, I'm not the slave, son. Hey, arrest the free one. It's Boogie Down Productions. Every battle we won. Never in your life think you step into the KRS. The whole world says he's the best. East to West, from Compton to Shot Town to the Boogie Down. I share these monies for trying to pull this rapper down. I graduated years ago from this battle sound. I told the whole world but MC Shan sat around. You want the history? <laughs> Back around. Let's start with MC Shan and Queens getting smacked around. That's why it sounds the way them suckers sound. Losers making big claims behind cheap computers. Shan, you want to test the teacher? You'll get split apart, torn into pieces, thrown somewhere in the dark. I take you back to see the park. Shan, you ain't wrong. Like a cowardly lion that need a heart. Get back to smoking the coke, nigga. I see you a broke, nigga. 30 years, you ain't getting no bigger. For real. Ooh. I ain't laughing. Breaking down rappers like you. That's my passion. Oh, take a mouth, take a mouth, take a mouth. Yo, take a mouth, take a mouth, take a mouth. Whenever these rappers take on the roll up, I did them and split them right from their own up. But take a rest one, you better hold up. Why they don't want to battle Chris on the mouth. They don't want to do that. That's what my daughter's been raised on. My, my daughter's been raised on real hip hop. Real hip hop. Chris is still for these cats. People don't understand. You know what? You know what? If I was a rapper, I wouldn't even 
even it's just like certain people that's that that was in the game and still in the game. Like I wouldn't even even attempt to even try to get on a bad side in any kind of way. Like uh, brother, I'm trying to tell I saw Chris actually shout out to my brother Hakeem Mad Isms. Um he has a um go check out my man Hakeem Green. Uh he has this thing called I think it was he's having Karis one. Karis one and Big Daddy Kane, I think. They're gonna have a joint on, on Clubhouse tonight. He's doing it 12 midnight uh. on East Coast, 12 midnight. It's um it's supposed to be it's actually I think it's Mad Isms Clubhouse, but he asked me was I going to tune in tonight. So it's supposed to be Big Daddy Kane, and I think it's Karis One John. So it's gonna be crazy tonight. But Chris will destroy somebody, boy. Let me tell you, he will destroy a cat. That's why they don't battle this dude, man. They don't battle Chris, not at all, not at all, you know. But we gotta keep it alive, man. That's why I said when I was on radio, man. Again, yeah, like what Karis One spits, I spit on hair. What he does on hip hop is what I do here. Right? So bear with me. I'm going to show you another dude. Watch this. I love this dude. This is another cat that nobody battles. So my feed is open for a minute, y'all. If you want to come on, bring it to the cypher. Y'all got time. I'm almost done, but bear with me. I want y'all to see some flows. Again, that's all we got to do is change the music. Change what we're listening to. If I had the financial backing like that, I would... I'd be flipping the scripts, brother. <laughs> Same reason about Roland Martin. Hey, Roland Martin don't want to talk to me. You right about that one. Well, Sabir, I'm about to get off of here. I'm about to get ready uh, for work tomorrow. Uh, I appreciate, you know what I'm saying, you helping me with my decision. And uh, I got some stuff coming up the pipeline I'm going to have to show you. <laughs> no doubt. Yo, I want you to hear this one, too. I don't own the rights to this, but I got to do this, yo. I don't know what they do. I, I'm going to try to do my best. Yo, I love Eminem. Eminem is another dude that spit. I want you to hear. He even talked about Lord Jamal and this joint. Yo, this new Eminem right. track. Listen to this. Hopefully. I'm going to just play the middle of it. I'm going to just go to the middle. Listen. Somebody tell Button before I stab you better fasten it. Joe Button. You know what he said? The closest thing he's had to hit the yeah, somebody tell Button. Eminem, listen to what he said. Somebody Eminem... tell Button before I stab, he better fasten it. Or have his body back, it's if the closest thing he's had to hit to smacking bitches. And don't make me have to give it back to academics. Say this shit is trash again. I'll have you twisted like you had it when you thought you had me. Slip it at the telly, even when I'm getting brain, you'll never catch me with a thought. Wait, he wait, he ain't sitting like this on his last shit. Oh, you better go back and listen. You know me better. Think it I slow a ladder, call it track. Is it the total setup? Hoping that you rappers falling at. Drake said, hold your head up. Kathy Griffin stacking ammunition, slap the clip and cock it back on competition. This is how I shot a head. Gabby Gifford, my attack is vicious. Jack the Ripper back in business. Tyler, create nothing. I see why you called yourself a bitch. It's not just because you lack attention, it's because you worship the 12 balls. You're sacrilegious. If you're going to critique me, you better at least be as good or better. Better the hood is wetter. Whatever his name is to help you put together some words. Better just do it. It's the fans waiting for this moment. Like the feature when I stole the show. Sorry if I took forever. Thank you, sisters. Remember, I was here before you, and I'll be here after you. Make you running for you. Detract this, I'm a half the fuck. Bitch, fuck what a corkscrew. Just let the doctor order. Revenge is the best medicine. Increase the dose from least the most, and then tell the Grammys to go and fuck themselves. They suck the blood from all the biggest artists like some leech. So they nominate them, get them there, get a name to them. See this. I want you to hear what he said about the Grammys. Listen to what he said. Listen up. I'm going to rewind it back. Listen to what he said about the rappers and Grammys. Biggest artists like some leakers, so they nominate them, get them there, get a name to them, see the show. Every parasite needs a hoe. Then give album of the year to somebody that no one's ever even heard of. All I know is I wrote every single word of everything I ever murdered. Time to separate the sheep from ghosts. And I got no faith in your writers. I don't believe in ghosts. When rap needs a host, I was left wing in a prayer. A peak and a hope to be IRD in the air. Somewhere some kid is hoping this folly lip sinks in the mirror. This is hip hop, dude. And for the rest, I don't really even care. But you would think I'm carrying an Oxford dictionary in my pocket. How I'm burying these artists on a scale of turn. 
what did he say? He said, you would think I'm carrying an Oxford Dictionary. Hold up. Damn. He said. Let me go back. Let me go back. <laughs> what did he said. Listen to what he said. And listen when some kid is spoken, this while he listens in the mirror. That's who I'm doing it for. The rest I don't really even care. But you would think I'm carrying an Oxford Dictionary in my pocket. How I'm burying these artists on a scale. It turns your mind as much as various as Harley and what's scary is you probably can compare me to your car because I'm just barely getting started. In cars, well, Jamar, you better leave me the hell alone or I'll show you and Elvis clone. Walk up in this house. You won't cross my body bone. You just tell the phone and go fetch me the remote. Oh, my. You probably can compare me to your car. I'm just barely getting started. I've been lost all the morning. Better leave me hell alone. I saw you and I was clone. Walk up in this house. You won't draw me alone. alone. You just tell the phone and go fetch me the remote. Put my feet up and just make myself at home. I belong here. Clowns, don't tell me about the culture. I inspired the Hobsons, the Logics, the Coles, the Shawns, the Chaos, the Five Nines, and oh, brought the world 50 Cent. You just squat, piss, and moan. But I'm not gonna fall. Gonna fall. It's you. This nigga said. I belong in the culture, my nigga. He called out Lord Jamal. He will destroy these dudes. So let me tell y'all this. Y'all talk about people are culture vultures. I hope y'all shit is out to everybody. Black folks are culture vultures. You're in someone else's culture. Hip-hop is a culture. Hip-hop's a culture. And that's what I'm about. I'm about hip-hop. And that's what he said. Pick up that Oxford Dictionary again that Eminem said he might have in his back pocket. These cats ain't listening to hip hop. They're listening to shit hop, G. This is what this show is about. This is what I've been doing over 20 years on radio, bringing you real, real hip hop. Hip means to know, and when you hip, you hop out on what you know. That's what hip hop is about. That's why none of these cats want to rock with your brother Sabir Bay on any kind of platform. I would dust the hell out of me. And that's a fact. It's a fact. From hip hop to law and to history. So again, I appreciate everybody that was on here. I do have to go. I appreciate y'all. Please tweet this out. Please share this out. I thank y'all. My cash app is dollar sign Sabir Bay. Again, dollar sign Sabir Bay cash app. The Zelly and the PayPal is Sabir Bay Radio at gmail.com. And also for any kind of booking one-on-ones, I will definitely be available. Shout out to my sister Thomas. April the 7th. Houston, Texas. April the 7th, Houston, Texas. Okay? Peace, my sister Caroline. Um, April the 7th, Houston, Texas. Get with my sister Thomas. Or you can hit, again, the email. is sabirbayradio at gmail.com. I would love to do a whole hip-hop joint, but I can't do that. You know, they be blocking music on YouTube and Facebook. But with sponsors like y'all, we can make it happen. All right? So you can book me for hip-hop speaking, because I am hip-hop. History. Law, and I do one-on-ones also, y'all. I appreciate everybody. But I got to close out with my brother, Yasin Bey. Y'all know him better known as most deaf, but it's Yasin Bey. I appreciate Hey, tomorrow, what's good? I thank you. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it. Share it out. All right? There it is right there, April the, um, April the 7th. All right? They had the opportunity. They didn't want to come. Appreciate y'all. I gotta go. This is a lot of rahim The cash yes. after Dallas on Severe Bay. Peace. Yes. Traveling land. I wanted to become an aviator. And I, I wanted to become a great singer. I always had the same dream. The dream was that I'd sing for um, hundreds of thousands of people. Uh, and, uh, and I got the standing ovation. And then the mafia being an AP, you know, I always thought that's not going to be fine. Yeah, yeah, it's time to play. I know! Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you let me go. I'm a traveling man. I'm a traveling man. I'm a traveling man.
We go ahead and leave the cold herd around the world from the wise of them seas. These cats is paying more than half a pound. I got my back and sat it down. I got to see the week of poly run the black and town. Scenarios like Margaret. this is 10 seconds for the modern MC. I eat a blue collar work because this ain't cold rhyming. No different from cold rhyming. We both on assignment to unearth the diamond. When you start climbing and them eyes start shining, you be struggling and striving and they think you prime time and maintain and keep silent. Make hey. an observation. It's competition. This is the daily operation. My concentration, then focus on my recitation. About to reach my destination with no pause or hesitation. Baby, make the preparation.